are you guys doing? This part of the game is really quiet, so you know, let's uh, really quickly speed to somewhere that has any music, because this has nothing. <laughs> but I wanted to leave it here for now to explain what it says, um, in case you guys want to know what the demo consists of. So, you can play for up to three hours from the start of the game, as recorded in your save file. And you can choose any of the eight protagonists. So we're going to pick, I'm leaning towards Cat Girl. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> um, just as in the full version. And you'll also be able to carry over your save data and use it in the full game. So if you choose to buy the full game, you don't have to restart, don't worry. And you can't travel beyond the starting area, but that's okay. Because you can, you can explore as much of it as you want. Oh, sorry, my, my fan was hot. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some music going. So that we can chat a little bit with actual music. <laughs> That's too awkward without music. I scroll through and see who came in chat. Hi, Bangala! And Nekta and Laifu! Laifu. Laifu! <laughs> I have, oh my god, my eyes are see through. Hold on. I have Waifu if I do. Oh my god, this loud. Holy shit. You guys can hear it. I can't hear it. It's really loud. Hold on. I, I gotta fix it. <laughs> I hope it's better now. Also, TGM, thank you for 19 months! You're so shocked that I chose Cat Girl. I know, right? <laughs> there we go, the menu has some music that we can chill with for a bit. Let me um, try to make myself, like, not see through. Hold on. Mm. There! <laughs> now my eyes are good. I'm also gonna move the YouTube alerts. I don't know what they're doing up there, that's wrong. <laughs> And now they're somewhere a little better. Hi, mm -hmm. that on. Yeah, it's a rare three stream day. Those aren't going to be very often, so don't get too used to it. <laughs> Hi, Ramses. There were so many good games to look forward to in the direct. It's been a really good day. I'm very, I'm very excited, honestly. I don't know about you guys, but after the direct, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, I. I Thank you for four months. Boss got your salary, you need to live on noodles? Lies. I never paid you enough to buy noodles. Where are you getting that money? <laughs> I only pay in serotonin. That's all you need to survive. As long as you're happy, you're alive. If you're not happy, technically, I guess you can be dead. It's like the Happiness and Peace of Mind Committee. Have you ever heard the song Happiness and Peace of Mind Committee? The English version is like, happiness is your responsibility. Happiness is your responsibility. Happiness is your responsibility. Are you really happy now? You're supposed to be. It's very aggressive. <laughs> I love it. Where's the redeems? I need to put them on my head. They're like not at all. <laughs> oh my god, I love the music so far. Any game that has good string music just tugs at the heart strings and makes me very happy. I'm very excited for Galadric was amazing. I'm not going to say too much because I know some people might not have watched it yet. I'll respond to things in chat, but I'll try to refrain from bringing too much up myself. But you've also had time to search it. So if you haven't seen it and you're trying to avoid spoilers, that ain't my fault at this point. <laughs> Hi, Josh and Demo. Ah, uh, this Demo. The Demo screen music is so lovely. Mm. Hey, that's it. made it through two paths so far. Nice! Holy shit, how'd you get two paths done in that amount of time? They must be rather short though, and maybe we can do more than one. The fact that there's so many paths in it, it kind of reminds me of Romancing Saga. That's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. And true, it's not a spoiler. That's how the game works, it even says before you start it. What's like TGM? When you get an email that the latest Otome limited edition is like... <laughs> I mean, it basically is to an extent. Otome, kind of, not really, but kind of. <laughs> hmm. Joey, hello! And Carvis, hello! Out of Fox 7, yo! It's Aquapath. Yeah. Hi, Dojingo! Yeah, the BGM really does smack. I'm excited. Hmm. I haven't heard a lot of the music from it yet. I see 14, but I'm very, very excited. Robert Fiber, hello! Really need to finish the first Octopath. I've heard that I would absolutely adore the first Octopath. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually get to play it. Um, I think it came out a similar time to Three Houses, which I ended up never finishing, so I ended up never buying Octopath. <laughs> it's a little easier for me to justify buying. I I used to not really buy a new game until I finished my backlog, 
but I've been pretty bad since I started streaming. A new game launches and I'm like, I'ma buy it, day one! And then I play it day one and then I never have fucking time to play it ever again. <laughs> oh, I need to, I need to figure out ways to play more games, but other than add more hours in the day, I don't know how I'm supposed to do it, man. <laughs> okay, subs. Really hope this game improves on the first one, yeah! I've only ever heard fantastic things about the first one. So I'm hoping that this one takes that and makes it even better. Hmm. Hi, Jeffrey. I kind of want to learn the song from the screen on flute. Sounds really pretty. Hmm. Bless you, Yeah. I really like the mix of like the pixel graphics, but with like 3D technology. It's really cool. It's one of the more innovative art styles that I've seen, and that's why I've been very interested in it. Cause I tend to like style above all else, all, all else in a game. The overall aesthetic, whether that's the aesthetic of the visuals, of the music, or anything in between, I like the overall aesthetic that it all comes together and builds. I just trying to fancy boy and Yuka Jimari. I'm lazy shinobi. Chris and I did well. You were at work during the direct, but your hype moment was the Etrian Odyssey. Yeah, right. I've never played Etrian Odyssey, Od Odyssey, Odyssey, but I know about it, so I was excited to see it there. I was also a little sad about no Astral Chain too. Well, actually, at the time I didn't think about it, but now that you mention it, I'm sad. <laughs> Even though I never played one, <laughs> would have been a great excuse for me to finally get around to it. Hi, mercenary. Whoa, hiccup. <laughs> Hi, a little more lucky. Mm -mm. Yeah, the direct really was amazing. It had a lot of stuff I really liked in it. I will actually spoil fuck. I think I'm most excited about Ghost Trick and Deco Pony. It almost feels like um, Yure Deco mixed with Psycho Pass. <laughs> so I'm very excited for that. Mm. I would be more excited about Rain Code if I hadn't seen so many teasers of it already. So it's more like I know that game's coming out. I don't care. I'd rather just experience it when I get it at this point. <laughs> the new Zelda trailer is cool though. I'm wondering if you guys feel the same way as me about Zelda. I have a question. I've seen a number of people make this comparison and I'm curious if you agree. For the new Zelda game, it kind of is giving off Majora's Mask vibes. Like you know how Ocarina of Time had like the the paired game Majora's Mask, which is like very similar to Ocarina but very dark in terms of aesthetics. So I'm wondering if this is gonna be like the Majora's Mask of Breath of the Wild, where suddenly everything goes really dark and twisted, but it's like like they're focusing a lot more on the dark, somber aspects of it. Where Breath of the Wild focused on calm, beautiful nature. This one seems a lot more like the planet is ending, everything is doomed, the sky is poison. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited to see where they go with it. Mm. Hi Alex again, I'm Flame! I'm hoping that's kind of where it goes anyway. Mm. Yeah, it would be really cool, wouldn't it? Hi Gamer462! Having the story be darker would make it really interesting, right? <laughs> that's kind of how I feel too. Mm -hmm. Give me just one second. Some videos that break down the music of Aqua Path, and it's kind of cool to realize how much thought goes into it. <gasps> that does sound really interesting. I love learning about video game music. <laughs> video game music has so much heart and soul put into it. Honestly, I like. I'm, I'm biased as a gamer. I like video game music better than a lot of other music. But I think even objectively, if you're not into games, video games just have some really fucking good music. <laughs> There's so much put into it. Because not only does it have to be a song that you enjoy, it has to be a song that you enjoy that gives you the perfect emotions to match the scene, that's memorable. There's so much that goes into making it. Hi, Aaron Kelly. Yeah, I got to hear Ganondorf's voice in the trailer. That was pretty cool. It did a really good job setting the tone, for sure. It definitely made it seem a lot more serious. The Breath of the Wild trailers for the first game didn't feel very serious. They felt very whimsical. Just very calm, peaceful, and whimsical. We have none of the same vibes from the newer trailers. It feels more like despair. Like hope is gone. 
not like you have to cling to the last remnants of hope, more like there is no hope and you just have to carry on and somehow keep going. And I'm very interested. Also, Lenasai, I'm Grumpy Jimmy. I'm trying to hello. Mm -mm -mm. Have a good time at work. I actually never played a Zelda game, believe it or not, until Breath of the Wild. <laughs> not properly, anyway. I've watched other people play them, but I never really played one myself until Breath of the Wild. Um, unless you count, um, Triforce Heroes and Hyrule Warriors. I played a lot of Hyrule Warriors. I really like Hyrule Warriors. As much as I like Fire Emblem Warriors and Three Hopes, Hyrule Warriors, in my opinion, is the best Warriors game ever made. I'm very biased because it's my first Warriors game, but I think I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours playing Hyrule Warriors on my Wii U. <laughs> it was by far the most played thing on my entire Wii U. Almost definitely. I loved it a lot. <laughs> Hi, Chrono XE. And Gunvolt, hello. Mm -mm. I haven't actually played Majora's Mask, so my comparison might have been incorrect, but I really want to play Majora's Mask someday. I like the intensity. Like, what's going on with the time, and you have to, like, not have the world break. I think Majora's Mask would fuck me up. And that's what I like from a good game. I really want a game that'll just fuck me up, you know? Sometimes I just want to play games to be traumatized by them. And that's, that's fine. <laughs> you know, a good, a good game! A good game can traumatize you, in my opinion. Mm, or make you very happy. Nowhere in between, though. Yeah, the new Zelda has to not look like Genshin. That's true. If they would have released trailers that are similar to their first trailer, everyone would have said too much like Genshin, even though Genshin is a clone of them. <sighs> Hi, Kellen. Breath of the Wild was poke post. Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's the vibes I got, Kellen. Breath of the Wild was post-apocalypse, like the peace after the war, kind of. This one looks mid-apocalypse, just like doom. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Yeah, I'm still mad that Xenoblade was shafted the VGA. At least we got, during that one song, we got that flute guy going hard. <laughs> so, you know, at least if it got shafted, the one thing that everyone agreed on was like the best part of the whole video game awards was that flute guy. So, you know, at least he made up for it, kind of. <laughs> Welcome to a Black Ape Path Warehouse demo. Adventure begins as you play as a Black Ape Pan as you travel through a warehouse and lead me as a kite to another fantasy world which you place as an ordinary pro tag. Because we all know that I'm more exciting than any fantasy pro tag. <laughs> yeah, Breath of the Wild is a very different Zelda game. It's the only one I've played, but I can admit it's very different than the others from what I've seen. I don't really consider it, you know it's a Zelda game, but I almost don't consider it one. But at the same time, you know, games evolve. Because Ocarina was very different than the Zelda games that came on the systems before it as well. Ocarina very much rewrote the formula for Zelda. Breath of the Wild just went in and rewrote it again. And that's okay. Because sometimes games need to evolve. Does that mean that if the other ones, the older ones, aren't just as enjoyable? Not at all. But sometimes games need to evolve to keep up with the global marketplace that's oversaturated, you know? <laughs> it's just the way it is. Once too many things start making a clone of your game, you kind of have to reinvent the wheel of the game. Mm hmm. Hi, Station 7, Ninja Marina. I'm doing good. This is very much not the Metroid remake. <laughs> I don't know if you look on the screen, but it says Octopath Traveler 2. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that it is being sold for $70 in most places, Joey, so we should have it corrected on our website soon if it's not yet. Mm. It will cost $70 if that's what it's costing everywhere else, if that's the standard. Mm -hmm. Hey, Abaco! Mm -mm -mm. Games need to evolve unless your name is Mega Man. <laughs> and or Pokemon until the most recent one. <laughs> Scarlet and Violet innovated. Until then, every Pokemon was kind of the same, which is fine. I know some people are getting sick of the formula. I liked it, so whatever. <laughs> Hi, Sia's eyes. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm Lonely Bug. Mm. All right, let's get started on the game, shall we? Oh, I did not like that frame rate drop. What the fuck? Okay, so we've got Apothecary Casting. We gotta get information from townspeople. Um, use materials to craft healing and hazardous compounds. She looks really cool. So I guess she's like a nurse? 
Your name is Casta Florence and you're an apothecary. Your tale begins in a port town. Oh, a port town! Of the Harborlands. Yeah, the frame rate was pain. <laughs> Discovered a drift at sea, you woke to the realization that you could not recall your own name. She has amnesia! The only clues to your identity are your satchel and skills as an apothecary. Hi, Jenna, the Hedgehog! Yeah, I do that too! And the demo just came out! Mm -hmm. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else, something important I'm forgetting. Unable to ignore the nagging feeling within you, you embark on a journey to recover what you lost. So that's hers. We'll figure out what we think seems the most interesting to check out for now. We also have Merchant Par um, Partatio. Hi, Lily Bug. Thanks for subscribing. Oh, oh my god, he looks like he looks like a gambler. I like that pose. I like that pose. <laughs> Obtain items from townspeople. Leverage your hired helper's talents to get a host of benefits. Your name is Partatio Yellowwill, and you're a merchant. Your tale begins in the vast wastes of the wildlands. After witnessing the rise and fall of the pioneer town you call home, you set your gaze upon the horizon. I'll be back once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. With dreams of bringing prosperity to all, you embark on a journey with only the scent of commerce to guide you. That sounds kind of fitting for CEO. Oh shit, I'm back to the main menu. <laughs> oh god, that brain. No, that seems kind of cool. Oh, you've also got... She's really pretty. She's the one that's always dancing in a lot of the promo images. And I'm kind of biased to her towards that as well because it screams music. And any character that screams music makes me very happy. So Dancer Agnia, bring townspeople wherever you may go. So I guess we bring townspeople with us. Mm. Dance with an alert companion to trigger various events. Your name is Agnia Bristani. You're a dancer. The tale begins in the verdant region of the Leaflands. Though a tavern dancer in a small village, you have big dreams for the future. I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces, just like Mama. She sounds so cute! She's like a VTuber, but like in ancient, medieval places. With hope in your heart and a spring in your stuff, you begin your journey to stardom. That sounds really cute! And we've got... He's hot. we got Warrior Hikari. <laughs> what? No, no! Go back, go back, go back. I bumped it. Um... Engage in battle with townspeople. Okay, so we're just gonna go into town and kill people if we play this and bought it. <laughs> Master skills during challenges and use them in battle. Your name is Hikari, you're a warrior. Your tale begins in the desert region of Hinoyuma. Hino Hinoyuma? I think Hinoyuma. You are the younger prince of Ku, a nation ever at war. I'm worried for your people who have suffered greatly from the ceaseless battles. I pray for a world without conflict, without bloodshed. So I'm going into town killing everybody, but I wish that someday I would just stop. Can't I just stop? <laughs> Hoping to bring peace to your nation, you strike out on a journey for your like-minded allies. It's cool, so we're going on a journey to murder people so that one day we can stop murdering people. I love it. <laughs> and we have Hunter Rochette, I'm thinking could be really, really cute. Her design is adorable. So she wants to provoke and engage battle with townspeople. Interesting. Um, prepare captured beasts and turn them into items! So we can make meat, we can make cults. Hi, Mega Kujo! Um, her name is Ochet and you're a hunter. Your tale begins on the Isle of Totohaha alongside your fellow beastlings. Despite your troubles with the human islanders, you live a carefree life. That is, until you learn of an encroaching calamity known as the Night of the Scarlet Moon. Sounds like Zelda with the Blood Moon. <laughs> Alright, Master Juba, I'll do it. I'll find those creatures of legend and bring them back. Desperate to save your home, you set sail in search of those who can help. And we also have a couple more over here. I like her design a She almost reminds me of, like, Bayonetta, but in the dress. Hmm. <laughs> the night path action. Oh! Okay, let's go back real quickly to the other ones and see that. So the is this. Administer medicine to townspeople to allay their pain and allow them to rest. Because she's the doctor. What's he doing that? Is this, that's when he gambles. <laughs> Bring townspeople wherever you may go. Ah, so we just go party in the pubs if we play some at night. Wind, power, hoot, and holler. Replenish all your BP in an instant. That sounds pretty useful. <laughs> Saw people losing it earlier over the thief's art. Yeah, it is good art. It is good art. And then her is, is obtain items from townspeople at night. Does she just go door to door asking for free shit? <laughs> Lean power extends the reach of skills to all. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm. Obtain information. 
So he's a spy at night. And latent power unleash the darkness within to gain access to special skills. So he's angsty like Sasuke. He just doesn't want to admit it. And here's his brain towns, people. And then animal instincts let your inner beast loose and gain access to special skills. Okay. What's her daytime one? We didn't really read hers properly. Okay. So she's the thief, Thief Throne. <laughs> Hi, Pedro. Obtain items from townspeople. Grant all allies augmenting effects at night. That's pretty good. Um, your name is Throne Angus, and you are a thief. <laughs> I'm sorry, Glaive, son. Your tale begins in a thrilling city in the Brightlands. You're a member of the Black Snakes, a thieving guild that controls the city from the shadows. Your job is to steal and clean. The cleaning is the cover. <laughs> Not again. Not this stench. Every time I breathe it in, it feels as though my very lungs are rotting. The stench of blood. Oh, so I, I clean up from assassinations. That's what they mean by clean. Okay, that's kind of badass. She's fucking badass. Hi, Rafik Roni. Determined to escape the cycle of bloodshed, you embark on a journey for the keys to your freedom. And that night, uh, knock townspeople unconscious. <laughs> you say, no, bop them on the forehead and then they pass out. <laughs> Leave no trace, act twice in a single turn. The thief path is looking like one I might enjoy the most so far, honest. It's got like some tragic backstory, hot character, fun skills. I can go twice and. <laughs> sounding good to me. Oh, yes, she is pretty, though. He is pretty. I will. Yes, I am interested in your religion, Temenos. I am interested. <laughs> Cleric Temenos. You bring townspeople where you may go. Uh, Moonlight Judgment inflicts all foes with enfeebling effects at night. Interesting. Your name is Temenos Mistral, and you are a cleric. Your tale begins in the mountainous region of the Crestlands. Though easygoing in your duties as an inquisitor, all that changes the day a tragic incident takes place in the church. Oh dear, I suppose it can't be helped. After all, doubt is what I do. <laughs> Seeing that there's much more to the incident than meets the eye, you set out to solve the mystery left in its wake. <gasps> you solve a mystery in his route. Okay, that also sounds really fun. And the night one um, is obtaining information and lower your foe's shield points with any attack. Ooh. Doubt is what I do. I feel like if you're if you're a cleric though, aren't you supposed to instill like belief in people, not doubt? <laughs> he sounds like he's bad at his job. And then we have Daddy Scholar Oswald. He looks like an uncle. I just want to pat him on the shoulder and be like, "Hi, uncle." <laughs> Scrutinize, obtain information from townspeople and study face, or study foe, not study face. Gain insight into a foe's weak points at the start of a battle. Oh, that would be helpful. Your name is Oswald V. Vanstein, and you're a scholar. Your tale begins in the snow swept breaches of the winter moons. You've been sentenced to life in prison for murdering your wife and daughter! You deserve to have that life in prison. You deserve to have that life in prison. <laughs> And I've since spent 1,879 days locked within the fridge itself. You deserve it, bruh. Harvey, the man who took everything from me shall die by my hand, I swear. Okay, maybe he didn't do it. I'm starting to think he didn't do it. I think Harvey might have done it. <laughs> so maybe he doesn't deserve to be in this cell. Maybe we should let him out and go kill Harvey. That sounds like a good time, I think. Not even the bitter cold can extinguish the raging fire in your breast. And so you set out to exact your revenge. And the night skill. Oh, his design's actually. He reminds me of Vesper from Hollow Stars. He reminds me of Vesper. <laughs> I've seen items from townspeople. Hi, Thomas. Mm -hmm. I am gonna ask for no religious stuff in chat, though. Um, focus spells on a single target with greater potency. Mmm. Interesting. What do you guys think would be a good one? What do you guys think? What one do you think would be the most interesting to do right away? I'm kind of leaning towards the thief, to be honest. I kind of want to know what her story is. I'm torn, though. I am torn, though. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oswald the Throne, that's what I'm thinking! Both of them really jumped out at me. The last two seemed really good. Here's the thing with the cat girl. The cat girl is adorable. She's adorable. But also, 
the stories of these two. It really got my attention. <laughs> now I want to get revenge from my dad, from not my dad, my wife and my daughter's killing. I also want to see like what's going on with her. Because she sounds like a really complicated character. Of the three you're playing, you think Thief would be a good one to stream? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna pick the Thief, to be honest. We're gonna do Throne A's for now. And then, if we have time to do a second one, I'll let you guys decide. I'll let you guys decide. We'll put up a poll. I'll make an eight-way poll on an external website. And I'll let you guys choose which one we do second. If we have time to do another I take one. What I want. Oh, the voice. Oh, the voice. Hi, Malkir. Yeah, yeah, I saw a few people saying the letters fell out of the path. I think that's Not so cool. The stench. Every time I breathe it in, it feels as though my very lungs are rotting. The game has voice acting? Yo? Yeah? I think this is supposed to be the dark one, yes, from the first little bit. I didn't even know it would have voice acting. Yeah, we accidentally chose the Corpse Factory one. <laughs> this looks fucking messed up. I chose the right one, thank you. <laughs> mm. The first one had partial voice acting. I never knew that. They're coming. I never knew it had voice acting. I'd only seen some like random stuff from it. I never knew it had voice acting. Damn it! The bleeding won't stop. Oh shit! Is my comrade about to die? Everything about exploration in town and NBC's voice acting. Whoa, that's so cool. This must have a lot more than the first no game, though. That sounds run. more than partial. Articles. It's one thing they do with this game that makes it really pretty. A lot of the art is not not quite pixel art, but like almost pixel art. But then you have the particles on top that are like high definition. Like the particles in the fire, for example. And the like dust particles and the water. And they're a little more detailed, so it makes it blend all together in a really unique way. Mm. We should be able to get up top through here. You make it by mapping pixel art on top of 3D objects. That's what I was wondering! What's the matter, Scaracci? Mm. It is an interesting combination. It open. The damn thing won't open! I really like modern pixel art. Modern pixel well, art is always done in, like, an artistic way. It's never because of, like, forced limitations. It's all these chosen limitations for style, and I like Damn it all! You catch your breath, Tony. He's gonna die, I'm calling it. Donnie's dead. Sorry, Tony. I feel bad, so I shouldn't be laughing because I'm gonna cry, but also I'm laughing because I'm overtired. <laughs> now then. It's time we welcomed our guests. We gotta kill them. Protect them. No vermin. Time for combat! I'm not familiar with the combat in this game, so give me a minute, I gotta learn. <laughs> Explain your foes' weaknesses to break down their defenses. Weak point icon. Okay, so vulnerability. Uh same attack as weak points. So you wanna make sure you attack in a similar way to their weak point. Um Lower the shield, reduce shield to zero to break your fall. Thorne can utilize swords, daggers, and dark base skills in battle. Go to thief skills and choose darkest knight suit in action. You can also select attack and choose um not choose a weapon. Okay. My turn. I wanna see. I don't know what their vulnerable is yet, so let's see darkest knight! Combat is all about breaking enemies, then doing burst damage while their defenses are down. Interesting. Afraid of the dark. Oh, he broke one! Okay, so break your fold and enter boost mode to deal a devastating blow. Go get it low! You're 
boss of the game. Yeah, the demo just dropped. You gain, okay, so breaking an enemy will drastically reduce their defenses and render them unable to act. You press R to enter boost mode, and the potency of your attacks and abilities will surge. You gain one boost point per turn. You can spend up to three to boost a command to three levels of power. If you use boost mode, you will not gain any BP on the following. Got it, I understand. So like this, right? And we know that they're, shit! Wait, okay. I think I only have an ax so far. Because it won't let me scroll to other weapons. Oh, that's him. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's why. He only has an axe. What are his skills? I think attack is the only way to go. Damn the dark, no. Oh, they're weak to axes. That ends He's up home. being a good, good call. I don't think I can do that again when they're broken. Should I do that? Just keep doing it if they're broken? Or is that dumb? Was that dumb? Two. Yeah! We killed one! The easy win to the combat. Thank you, thank you. It's just good. We're only going to be doing two. the demos length. I don't think they're going to give us anything difficult in the demos length. So we're fine. Let's see, um... What's the steel look like? These take, um... Resources, right? Like... I'm assuming they take resources. Thanks. I want to see this one. Oh, it just takes an item. There's nothing to steal. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Oh shit, I don't have that anymore. Okay. Damn. Well, let's keep attacking normally then. <laughs> Ready? Mm. Afraid of the dark. You can boost steel to increase your odds. Ooh. Come on, let's go. That'd be fun. Damn and you can steal a shit ton of items. Yeah! No deaths so far. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone's up to level two. What a waste of time. Mm-hmm. Basically, two times modifier on damage when broken. Mm, nice. That's exactly it, though, TGM. Must steal every single time I attack, because what if they have something worth money? <laughs> Hi, ACME! I just don't get it. Must to save skills for when you have BP stored up so you can boost it. Oh! So here's normal... Brandon, do you mean it's good to use normal attacks until it's broken and then use the skill? So that I can really crush them with the skill instead of a normal attack? Why is this door locked? You have an axe! Chop it down! <laughs> Get up, Donnie. It's time for you to work your magic on that lock. Donnie. I think he's dead. <laughs> He's not responding. I think he's dead. No, no, no. He's actually dead. He's dead. Oh shit! This he's just really good at napping. I'm not so sure, man. <laughs> Damn it! What the hell is going on? That's what I want to know. Someone set us up. Oh. Our plan was perfect. We slipped into the Diamante estate and got what we came for. Killed him with my prediction no saying that he would probably die. <laughs> guards waiting outside. Unless someone squealed. Is there a traitor among us? Is there a traitor among us? And only a few of us knew the plan. That's not good. <gasps> this has turned into Danganronpa. Which means there's a likely a traitor among us. Oh shit! You can't be serious. Who'd sell us out like that? I bet it was Donnie. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. That's why he's dead. We can figure that out later. 
She's right. We have to get out of here first. Mm -hmm. Come on. There are other ways out of here. Hey, gaming place. with Moon. It does look really cool, doesn't it? Let's go. Okay, basic control is moving, easy. Path action is why main menu, confirm, cancel, or dash. Oh, but you're more, oh, so it's a random encounter dungeon crawler. And while dashing is more likely to find enemies. What does path action do? I guess you can only do it certain um, certain contexts. So you can use the stick or the D-pad. Because it's pixel, I personally think that using the D-pad feels better. Hmm. <laughs> ah, you can. Oh yeah, it's the locked door. Oh. Time to clean up the filth. I guess we gotta do another battle Ready? real quick. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Easy. How many BPs do you have? Ready? Okay. Come on. Bam, bam. What to do? Mm, yeah, the normal attack is enough to break, so we'll just keep doing that. <gasps> does your BP reset every turn? Because it looks like from the last one it reset. Or does it reset, like, during a certain checkpoint, maybe? Damn you. Oh, battle gives you things you can use to get more skills, so battle is not necessarily a bad All thing. Tidied up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the D pad I just find more comfortable in any game that has four way movement. Mm. I guess why I enjoy it in games like this. See, look at the water! It's so pretty! It's such detailed water with the pixel graphics, and that sounds so weird, but it works so well. Oh, I can't go that way. Oh, treasure! Feeling great. The other effects are really beautiful in this game. One baby every turn. Oh, your SP gets restored. Oh, so one BP is not clear. per character. One turn is not Come per, on, like, let's go. per hit. One turn is per everyone having a shot. Is that how it works? Damn you. Ready? <laughs> Be calm. Well, that was easy anyway. No time to lose. I guess one turn must be a full cycle between everyone. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of has 3D pixel diorama vibes. Because have you guys seen any of those like paper craft things? That are like, um, they'll print out scenes from the pixel game and recreate it on paper? It does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? Wait. Mm -mm. Um. What the hell? Hey guys, we're trying in. I'm good. Doing really relaxing RPG demo now. What's another one of those rats doing here? People made really good octopath diorams. Ooh, that could be cool to make one even, like with hand cam. Hmm. Pop up screen is the current turn and the next turn. Oh, okay. I'll keep an eye out on the top to know which turn I'm in. Once you've broken an enemy, they lose both their current turn and their next turn. <laughs> I thought that was the case. Kind of like in Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. <sighs> they must have known we come this way. What do we do now? Wait here. Kill them. I'll handle this. <laughs> we just killed them. I'm going to give our friend a little surprise. I like the delivery of that line. Her voice actor is really skilled. But doing a really good job. <sighs> ambush! <gasps> okay, at night, throw like an ambush townspeople in. Oh yeah, she can knock people unconscious so I don't even have to battle. Okay, so path action. Pressing Y near a townsperson. I must be at the indicated level to ambush them. So I have to go right behind them. Yeah, it has voice acting in a lot of parts. Can I knock out my friends? Damn it. 
<laughs> I was hoping to knock out my friends. I thought that would have been funny. <laughs> I guess I can only use... Wait, I have to strike from behind. But how do I get to behind? How do I... Oh! Probably up here, right? I thought these were dumplings. They're probably like sacks of flour. <laughs> the collector edition came with a 3D diorama art book. That's so cool. I'm sad I missed out on that. That would have been nice to collect. No treasure over here, no. You actually have push the lookout. <laughs> I wanna see what this looks like. Good night. <laughs> so cheesy. I'm kind of sad there's no animation though. I was looking nice forward to work. seeing the animation, but I'll take it. The stars above the head are still a nice touch. <sighs> like the games when this developer had demos. Yes. Really, do you think showing people actually? I agree. I agree. Um, I think it's very important to have a demo for. Okay, an entire genre, I think, personally. I think every JRPG should consider releasing its first chapter as a demo. Because the reality is, JRPGs are so fucking long that if you buy a JRPG and you don't like it, you feel like, wow, I just spent so much money. <laughs> so, if you could play the first chapter to make sure that you enjoy it, before putting the money in and you can't always judge by watching someone else play it i've definitely watched streams where other people play games and i'm like wow that looks so fun and i try it myself and i'm like wow i hate this because <laughs> there's a difference between watching and playing so i really wish that more of them would put demos and i'm really happy whenever one does because then it gives me a chance to share the game with you guys without having to commit to the whole thing because you know they are a lot to invest into if you don't think you're going to be able to finish it yeah, I, Tears of the Kingdom being 70, I want to say it's concerning, but I'm also not really that surprised. Because every number of years, games start to go up a little bit. And the reality is, uh, it's a baba, uh, what else is it, ba, 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 do, maybe? Hello? Uh, um, I think, I think with expectations, and quality and stuff going up. I think game devs are going to, whether or not they have to, whether it's out of financial necessity or just because they know they can, I don't think it's going to be uncommon for more games to start costing 70. Do I think it's fair to the consumer? No. Do I think it's probably going to happen? Maybe. Because you know, Breath of the Wild kind of set the price standard for other Switch games. So it is possible that a lot of AAA Switch games might face their pricing on this one afterwards. I think it's just a situation to keep an eye on for now. It, it is sometimes just corporate greed. In this case, it's corporate greed. It's fucking Zelda. They're going to make shit ton of money. For smaller games with smaller dev teams, I don't think it's that simple. Because, you know, they have to put so much time and effort into it. I've seen how much money goes into making some games, and sometimes I honestly don't understand how they make the money back. I genuinely don't. But with games as big as Pokemon and Zelda, like, they'll definitely make the money back. <laughs> so in that case, I feel like the 10 extra sucks. That's just kind of difficult. Mm, yeah, it's kind of what TGM said. That's why I'm not surprised. Games haven't really gone up in price for years. So as much as I don't like it, I want to be clear, I don't like it. I feel like it was a matter of time. So I'm not surprised, even if I don't like it. Mm. Your skills are second to none. No wonder you're the best in the nest. You're the best fast in the nest. Asleep. Didn't even see it coming. I can't tell if that was supposed to be an innuendo or not. <laughs> Finish him, Throne. Kill him. No. I'm in no mood for meaningless bloodshed. I kind of agree, though. He's knocked out. We don't really need to kill him. He's not really a threat. <laughs> we'll just step on him to assert dominance and walk away. Hi, Miles! And it's a rare triple stream day because two of them were really, really short. 
What's your backup plan then? Are you serious, Jeez. TGM? NES games used to be seventy dollars. Are you? I bought some for like forty, and I thought that was price scalping because they're old. Are you saying I actually got a discount? <laughs> Holy! Actually, an Odyssey collection is eighty, but it's also more than one game. So I find that's not quite as bad, but it also is really expensive for older games. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I can buy the Ace, Ace Attorney Trilogy for a much cheaper price. On, like, any system. <laughs> because you're gonna need something to keep him busy when he comes chasing us down this tunnel. Mm -hmm. That's true. He might kind of wake up and chase us, which isn't very good. <laughs> That's enough, Skarachi. We have to go. Fine. Mm -mm. Finally, a way out. Time to say goodbye to these rat infested Now, sewers. price scalpers did go after retro games. Mmm. It's hard to find some of them. Some of them you can get at really good prices if they're really obscure and nobody really wants them. Um, you can be really lucky and have some good finds. But some of them, the prices are just absurd these days. I think I recently saw a copy um, at a retro game store of Super Mario 3 for NES, and it was like $200 or something like that, and I was like, no thanks. <laughs> I already Not have it for NES yet. and GBA anyway, so I don't need it, but I was like, what the fuck? Well, this is mean. Oh, damn, there's three of them yeah. this time. We've got company. Depend that's exactly what it is, Aaron Kelly. It depends on two things. How popular the game is, also how rare it is to find. And if it's popular and rare, the cost is going to be a lot. Triple A, hello! The demo's good so far. If it's really rare but nobody really wants it, sometimes you can get it at a bit cheaper of a price, but sometimes it can also be the opposite. If it's really rare but not a lot of people want it, because the few people that do want it really want it. And that's why I'm having trouble finding... Um, a physical copy of Rhythm Thief. Because every time I find one, it's STUPID EXPENSIVE! If you got that cheese, now's the time! And the second, um, the second trauma center for DS as well. There's a number of rare, more than anything, I collect rare DS and 3DS games. <laughs> um, Switch physicals, I like to have them, but I don't always collect them. I don't know why. I collect some. Like, I collect Switch Otome. But I don't collect everything on Switch, but when it comes to, um, like, very, very rare games, I try to collect as many as I can on DS and 3DS. And two of the ones that I really want, but I just can't track down for a good price, are Trauma Center 2 and Rhythm Thief. Fucking Rhythm Thief. <laughs> you idiot. Enough about the truth. Yeah, that's true. Physical games do have a bit of a lifespan. People forget about that. But so do digital. Don't focus. We'll be as holy as because Jesus if the shops go down and then you can't find anywhere to emulate it, the game is gone. Game preservation is a lot more complicated than a lot of people think. Right. Why does he keep Let's making go. cheese references? Like, fuck off, bro. I hate the cheese. You shut up. These rats just don't give up. He keeps making rat references. So yeah, he's just a little bit cheesy. Hi, <laughs> Satchel Mail. It's up to us to exterminate. Must be early morning in Indonesia, huh? Or is it around, um, is it afternoon, maybe? Morning or afternoon, I think. Ready? Hi, TV Invaders! An old PC game that you don't know on sale is Black and White 2? Do you mean DS or PC? Be calm. 
I feel like if you mean Pokemon, a lot of people know it, but <laughs> I feel like maybe that's not what you mean. Come on, I don't want to waste my go. BP. I want to use it on the bigger guy. So now I regret it because he's alive. There we go! To do. I don't know what his weakness is, so I'm going to take down the little one first. Ah, oh, PC and it's by Lionhead. Oh, interesting. Ready? I don't know that one. What's it like? On, let's go. Yeah. I like hearing about rarer games that not a lot of people know. Be calm. <laughs> well, that didn't break him. <laughs> Come on, oh, Throne is about to die. Great heal, or I'm, I'm, am I dead? Luckily, it, it healed a little bit more than I thought it would. <laughs> hmm. No oh, thanks. They all look like terrible skills. Oh, axe works against him. Good. Okay. Ready. I can't break this fucking guy. Come on, let's go. Will this break up? Yeah! Okay. In the meantime. And then, Darkest Knight! Hmm. I thought you used the boost after you break them. That's why I was waiting, 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 and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, Mega Man alone! The looks really chill so far. It's really relaxing. It's a vibe. The best way I can describe it so far is that it's very much a vibe. Hmm. That's probably a vibe you either Never like or don't. It's very relaxing. Hmm. What is that instrument? I know that instrument, but I can't remember what it's called. A very specific woodwind instrument. I think it's a fife? That's like a mix of like, not bagpipes, but something similar and the fife maybe. Hmm. I recently found out the first Gollum movie was found. The prequel of the same name was found years ago, but the movie had a trilogy. Really? Whew. Glad that's over. This is a wind instrument. I'm trying to figure out which one. Yeah, the art style and the music are both really nice. Take that, you It's interesting woman. that they didn't use like um like um old style MIDI music for the music though to go with the pixels. It's interesting they went with really like really realistic recordings of stringed instruments and stuff. I like it, it's just an interesting choice. And they have some really like high quality sound effects as well. Like you can hear the water running and I didn't expect that from it. What's that look about? You think I'm just fooling around instead of pulling my weight? That it? I will agree with what one of you guys said about his voice sounding kind of forced. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing depending on the vibe of the game. I haven't played it long enough to judge yet. It does seem as his attitude that his voice is a little cheesy. If it's what they're going for, it's working. If it's not what they're going for, it's not working. <laughs> mm. I didn't say that. Well, I wouldn't have to fool around on my own if someone would give me a hand. The only complaint I have so far, I think, about the voice acting is that Scarachi and Throne, their acting style doesn't really match. Like, his is very over-exaggerated and he's emphasizing some on certain words. And then Throne is very, I'm a thief and I'm going to kick your ass and kill you. Look, I'm going to go behind this guy and knock him unconscious so we can walk through. <laughs> Their style of acting is kind of clashing. Like, one of them is putting a lot 
of emphasis into all their words and the other one's not putting a lot of emphasis. So when you hear them together, it's a little bit jarring. Mm. What a voice fire of engaged and arrived in Octopath by mistake. <laughs> that, that, that voice would have fit very well in Engage. If you know what I mean, Throne, eh? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Give yourself a hand. <laughs> I I know what you mean by you'll recognize when you see that was all. Uh, wow! He is, he is a piece of work. <laughs> yeah, Yasunori Nishiki did a really good job on the soundtrack. Also, I pinned the link in the description, by the way. Um, we have a t we have a physical copy of the OST available for pre-order. If any of you really like the music and you want to consider grabbing the OST, um, and if you pre-order it um, within the next little while, it'll come with my Valentine's card. <laughs> as long as you make sure to select the free gift. Um, the other thing is, um, we have a bunch of merch from it as well. I'll show it off at the end. Super Cavelight, thank you for subscribing. Also, can we appreciate the fact that she said, give yourself a hand? It's basically her directly telling him, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Are you coming with us or do you want some privacy? For a second, I thought that was another innuendo. <laughs> I was like, are you are you coming in our presence or do you want to go fuck yourself somewhere else? <laughs> Skirachi is very oddly quiet right now. <laughs> I love the glowing lights. So beautiful. You don't usually get this type of lighting in pixel games, so it is really unique because of that. Mm. Honestly, Square just does a pretty solid job with JRPGs. Some are better than others, but I feel like that's one thing that Square is often known for. They're JRPGs with good music. We need it. Mm -hmm. And this song almost sounds like it's right out of Hotel Dust. Ah, how I miss That's yes, Jazzy! Rain Fujina, thank you for the follow! The city does look beautiful. I hope you can explore a decent chunk of it, because that'll be really fun. I would have hated to kick the bucket down there in those sewers. Mmm, Diorama feel really is the <sighs> nicest on it. You mean like poor Also Dolly? on chat, Rain Fujina! Oh yeah, Donnie died! <laughs> I forgot! I forgot that he fucking died! <laughs> Can I call you a Baki or Pam? Either is good! Most people call me boss. But anything is good. Mm. I wish I knew. Donnie will be missed. How's it for Gore? Listen, I'm Let's tired. <laughs> My insomnia is getting a bit better. I actually managed to get around five hours sleep or so. I'm happy that it's getting a little bit better, but it uh, it's not gone entirely, so I'm still a little bit sleep deprived. But it seems to be on the way up, so hopefully, maybe tonight I can finally get a proper sleep. <laughs> Those two aren't going to be happy about this. He sounds but familiar. We, we didn't do nothing wrong. I'd rather die than face their punishment. It's punishment time! <laughs> I wonder what it is. If it's actually a Danganronpa style punishment, I'll be so fucking happy. <laughs> My favorite part of the choice. Danganronpa games was Not the punishment the segments. On. They were just so funly orchestrated. The creativity that went into those murders. Mmm. I love me a murder that inspires so the imagination. Our chains, we have to obey them. What do they have on us? Why are we forced to listen to them? I hope it explains. I want to learn my tragic backstory. That's crazy talk. I ain't no dog. I don't know even behaving like one, bro. <laughs> Quiet, Scarachi. There might still be rats around. I know that voice. Hold on. 
Piro. I don't know if the cast would have been announced yet, but I need to know this. I think it's the guy who voiced Akito in Kodomo no Omocha or Kurocha. Hold on. Up to path traveler to voice actors. Let me see. Um. Oh my god! Oswald is voiced by Sayu! Yo! Nice! And Agni is voiced by Xanthi? Oh, Throne is voiced by Erica Mendez! I would have never guessed! Holy shit! She did such an amazing job at making herself sound different. That's the person who voices Bernadetta and Fire Emblem, by the way. And um, Retzko in a Gretzko, I'm pretty sure. She sounds so different! That's amazing. And who was Piro? Piro, Piro, Piro. He's a bit hard to find because he's not a main character. Hold on, I'm looking for him. Um. Piro, Piro. Piro, Piro. Ah! Sean Chiplock! Sean Chiplock, what? Oh, he was Gunvolt! <laughs> I voice acted with him in Gunvolt 3. He was fucking Gunvolt. Okay, that that makes sense. I recognized him because he was Gunvolt. <laughs> that makes so much sense all of a sudden. That's so cool. I've been in a game with him. Yo. That's exciting. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. You're in Gunvolt 3? Yeah. I was a, a small role in it, but I did Lola. Mm hmm uh oh. Wait. <laughs> why must I why must I sneeze on the stream before I can reach my arm and hit the mute button? <laughs> well so I didn't go God damn it. <laughs> Let's split up. They're less likely to find us then. What are we doing? Sneezing and yawning just rapid Don't fire. Thank you. I think my body is giving up. I'll deliver uh. the mark to father. Yeah, he's down like two. All right. Be careful out there. Mm -mm. Not even sick. Why the fuck did I sneeze? <laughs> Where that snakes, sneeze even came a band from? Of ruffians with connections to the realm's richest circles. Oh, okay. they control the town's wealth and power. And I am one of their minions. My job is to steal and clean. Clean the body. Also playing Chocobo! Thank you for the host! Hold on. Let me pull up. One of your clips really, really quick, if I can. If I have it set up. <gasps> ah! Thanks so much for the read! Oh, there we go. Ooh, oh, I'm blocking. Dad. Oh, oh no. Are you playing a JRPG too? Oh, Wait, is that okay. Fire Emblem? Please don't kill Joshua! That is Fire Emblem. Nice, wah, nice, nice. Wah, wah. Oh, mm. no! So close! I never played the older ones, so it's always interesting when I get to see it. Hmm. Time to go home. Turn eight. Okay. She, for some reason, I assume she didn't have a home. So I'm surprised she's going home. I thought she was like... I thought she was like living in taverns and shit. Use the radar on the bottom right to check the area and find where you're heading. Okay, okay, okay. The other ones are really good. Yeah, I heard the stories are good. Continue the story where there's a green one. If you're too far, continue to the destination marker and the entrance will be displayed in green. Side story, starting point, save point, hidden item. Okay. We're gonna focus a little more on the main story um specifically so that i can get as much done as possible 
Not that I understand how this map works, so actually I'm just lost. Oh yeah, I can run here. I don't think there's gonna be any like random encounters in the town. Let's talk to some randoms. I guess we can't talk to that random. Oh, I can go inside though. Oh, you can get treasure here though. Nice. You're streaming Final Fantasy XIV today though. Interesting. I hope you had a good time and Eorzea. Wait, why? Oh, no, 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 I don't want to ambush them. <laughs> I was like, what does Y do? I forgot that this is an ambush. In the interest ages, you kind of have to just continue the story. Yeah, I kind of thought that might be it anyway. Get lost, fuck you. I like how you can explore so much. It can really get into lots of tiny areas. It's so nice. I like how you can come up on the roof here and get a nice view of the town. There doesn't seem to be any other reason to go up there other than to have the nice view. Mm. And yeah, it is a demo. The game isn't completed yet. It is the first section of the game, though. They said save data is going to carry. So it's a demo. But the demo is technically the first part of the full game. Get drunk for cheap here. <laughs> you get your hopes up about the food. That sounds the worst. The only thing I ever want is food. I'm like that rare person. Everyone in a bar is like drinking, and I'm just sitting there like, mmm, fries. My favorite thing to order at a bar is sweet potato fries. <laughs> I feel like I'm the weirdest person, but you know, alcohol soothes the body. Yeah, until you drink so much, you feel barfy. You know, also soothes the body. Sweet potato fries. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like a future cutscene or something there. It doesn't seem to do very much right now. Yeah, it's kind of like the first game's demo. If, if the first game had something similar. Well, you just get to like explore it a little bit early, but it doesn't do very much. Oh, I can see. Nice. Wait, what? I can take you to heaven and back for a thousand five hundred lips? An angel did not. Uh. I think she means something a little different by that. Hi, Lucian! You paying her? I don't have any money right now, unfortunately. <laughs> Every wish is your command. <gasps> is this a brothel? Is that why she was outside of it? Is this a brothel? <laughs> I think I accident. I think I just accidentally walked into a brothel. What was it? Yeah, that's a the brothel reception is the name. That's a fucking brothel. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand why there's an angel of the night outside. <laughs> now it makes so much sense. Mm hmm. But quick, get let's get boss all that money. <laughs> if only you could super chat me in leaves. <laughs> Hi, the little banana. If only you could super chat me in leaves. We could see what the brothel cutscene is. <laughs> Leave it to boss to find the brothel right away. Shut up! <laughs> I like the reflection in the water. Wait, do I live in this fucking mansion? Let's go. Let's... Oh, no. I live in the disgusting sewer. Moving on water. You can board a canoe? You just walk into the water and summon a canoe at your feet. That's beautiful. I like how you just literally summon a canoe. Did I just trigger a cutscene by mistake? I thought going in the building... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I thought I'd have to go in the building after, so I was avoiding the canoe. I thought the canoe would bring me where I needed to go. <laughs> I guess the canoe was the wrong way. I uh don't -huh. Also, have a good sleep, life off. A good dagger is not unlike one's own hand. Wait, is that... 
Oswald? Flexible, daft, and capable of taking a life with a flick of a wrist. I like the voice. That's very unique. Just like you, Throne. That voice is like audio velvet. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what I mean. It's just so smooth. Thank you, Father. Sir, no, that's my dad. Shit. <laughs> ah! We call this man Father. He okay, never mind. It's not my snakes. real dad. It's not my biological dad. So it's fine, right? It's not. It's jobs. not actually related. He took me it's not actually. <laughs> and taught me everything I know. The mark, Father. Oh, the song that plays in I here is so good. Donnie's life. Exactly, he's not dad, he's daddy. <laughs> Did you hear that riff? With the snapping fingers in it? I want to learn this one on flute. Does anyone know the name of this song? Probably not. The OST's not out yet. I would love to learn this one on flute. Da -na -na -na, da -na -da, da -na -na -na. And now strings and sax. The progression. I know the game is not out yet, but I already need the OST <gasps> and an oboe solo. It's coming back, I think. No, the song is still going. <gasps> I want to hear where it loops before I go on because I'm really enjoying this OST, especially the song. There it is. The riff is so unsettling. It almost has the vibe of like, do you know what I mean by trick stairs? Like you're going upstairs and you have to be really careful because the stairs aren't built at the standard size because they're meant to trip up intruders where the steps are like slightly at weird sizes far apart. It gives me the same vibe as thinking about trick stairs. Hmm. It is simply what we were asked for. So basically we, we have to sacrifice our life for our jobs. We're kind of forced to. Yeah, it almost, it's not really a waltz, because it's in, it's in, wait, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. A waltz is usually one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this wouldn't be a waltz. It's more like, um, I don't know, music that you'd have in something like Pink Panther, or something you'd have when like walking into a tavern. It's interesting that here it's um in like a giant fancy mansion. Well, I guess it is an assassin's guild. <laughs> our client said this would be our last deal, seeing as word of our plan got out. Mm. Well, yeah, we have to figure out who's the traitor. I forgot about that. What if Daddy's the traitor? It would appear there is a traitor among us. <laughs> We gotta find the imposter. Well Perhaps our nest is in need of cleaning if such filth is lurking about. He's telling me to do the cleaning, so I have to figure out who it is. He does kind of sound like a villain. I agree. You've always been different, Throne. Better than Why do I feel like he's coming on to me? <laughs> you are the only one who has inherited my skills. Okay, maybe not. Which is why I have nominated you as Who was near Donnie last, everyone, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> well, there were only two people there, but the thing is, whoever knew our plans, they might not have necessarily been there with us to rat us out. 
It could have been somebody who was there and then left. We don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Lately, this collar feels Cut. tighter than usual, Father. <laughs> Hi, no Komodo. <laughs> out of context, out of context, Octopath. Lately, this collar feels tighter than usual, Father. <laughs> Why? Why? Octopath was that kind of a game. My key alone is not enough. Okay, so my dad has a key to the collar on my neck. Ow. Okay, okay. Sure, sure. Okay. Now speak of it no more. It is a badge of honor, one worthy of a true snake. Yes, father. Very good job. Why did he have to say that in like such a seductive tone? He's like, mm, very good child. And I'm just like, what? No, and Josh and Ballistic Browser, you guys aren't wrong. I want to know who the hell did this dialogue because this is giving like foreplay vibes. And this is really weird. I <laughs> hope you are prepared for tonight's gathering. <laughs> those who disappoint mother. I'm pretty sure this is Is it just the music? Is the music making us extra horny? Is that the problem right now? Because even this line is coming off As questionable to me Every single dialogue that has happened In the past like 5 minutes Has been questionable No I don't think the jazz is helping any <laughs> I didn't expect Octopath Traveler to be so sus What the fuck just happened? <laughs> okay. Okay. That Did that really happen? Did I hallucinate that whole scene? Did that really happen? <laughs> and the customer, is it all right to be playing like this? <gasps> We're on a big job. He knows. He's like, are we really okay, okay <clears throat> to fool around like this? <laughs> but I think this is the actual brothel. I think this is the actual brothel, guys. The other one was a ruse. <laughs> this is definitely the real one. This is a strong room, but I'm stronger, baby! What does that even mean? <laughs> Hi, Shastra. Thank you for the super hell of a demo. Certainly one hell of a demo. <laughs> what does that even mean? What the fuck is this game? You guys didn't tell me Octopath was gonna be so weird. I thought it was gonna be like normal. <laughs> I'll wait until mother comes. No, I'm going outside. I'm going outside. I wanna go on the canoe. <laughs> The other paths should be fine. Did I just get bamboozled into choosing into choosing the sus one? Mm -mm -mm. Is that why you wanted me to oh, do this yeah, one? Baby, get that money. <laughs> Not because you thought I would necessarily like it more, but because it was sus as fuck. Oh. Let's just go around the back to get that. There we go. I knew 
I was missing something. <laughs> <laughs> After that scene, we got the critical nut. <laughs> I can't believe Octopath gave us um gave us Sadistic Daddy. And right after Sadistic Daddy, the game gave us a critical nut. Hi, also, Magus! I'm having fun. <laughs> it's very chill. Now we'll see what Mother has to say. Mm -hmm. I see my adorable little snakes are all here. This room is giving mommy's orgy vibes. <laughs> Let us begin our delightful gathering. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we call this woman mother. She is our other leader. <coughs> we call and manages her mommy. the guild's members. <laughs> she values order and discipline above all. So she's also a sadist. Those who Got fail it. Her are mercilessly punished and disposed of. Mother, father. They are our leaders, the mm. forces that move the black snakes. I'm glad we chose this route. <laughs> Throw name idea. Oh, her voice acting is good. That gave me chills in a creepy way. Would you come way. here, please? I like the deep, raspy tone in her voice. It's not a type of voice that you hear very often in anime or video games. So it's especially like really fun when you get to hear it. It's a type of voice I can't do. I'm not capable of doing, I can do it like deep and somewhat raspy, but it's not like a powerful deep voice. It's more like very soft because it strains me to go deep in the first place. So when I hear people that can pull off that naturally deep raspy voice, I'm just in awe. I'm like, I wish that was me. <laughs> she just kind of sound like a smoker. Maybe I just have to become a chain smoker. Then I too can sound Garoshi like sexy tells mommy. Me that today's failure falls on your shoulders. What the fuck? Cheese man threw me under the bridge. We only got out of there alive because of Miske Rachi. Is this because I wouldn't? Is this because I wouldn't lend him a hand? I told him to go fuck himself, so he said fuck you and got me in trouble. Okay. What the fuck, bro? Don't worry for our future, dear. The black snake. I think he's the traitor. Controlled this town, but father and I aren't as young as we used to be. The snakes will need a new leader to guide them, a successor, as it were. Oh, so are you punishing me, or are you telling me I'm the leader? I'm confused. <laughs> it would be father kind of funny if he's a rat, honestly. But in my eyes, you are still. Lacking. Lacking what? Now that. She got, what the fuck? Me. That is a rope. Oh. Hi, Shorty. My mommy just, mommy just brought out the rope, guys. Or is that, a, is that a rope or is that a whip? Either way, I'm not sure if that makes it better right now. You want Mother's Whip, don't you, Throne? I have another one to put in my, in my out of context collection. So now, now we have a line about Daddy, Daddy having the collar on my neck. And we, oh, we want Mother's Whip, don't you, Throne? <laughs> Ow! Shit, hold on. I don't know if you heard that. Um, my shoulder came out of the socket real quick. Give me a sec. Mm. It just happens sometimes. It just really hurts when it does, and I need a sec. <laughs> uh. Okay. Ah. Mm. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I think I got it back. <laughs> uh, give me a sec. <sighs> Not all the way, but it occasionally comes out part way, and it was like stuck, and I had to deal with that. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Yeah, we got the dummy mommy unexpectedly. <laughs> oh, 
<sighs> oh. Okay, uh... I don't even know if I should press A right now. <laughs> this game is giving me a lot of conflicting feelings. <laughs> Mommy really just whipped me. Oh, not a peep. A few lashes is enough to bring others to tears. But I suppose you'll need more encouragement. <laughs> oh, that was a nice, la nice laugh on her part. You lost us a wealthy client. Excuse me? Excuse me? We only got out of there alive because of me? You've Ooh. sullied my good name, you wretched worm. Oh, not even a wimp. Mommy's just gonna keep Let's whipping see how me. Long you can keep that up. God, that actually hurts so much. Mother. <gasps> Piro, thank you! My one and only witness who knows that I did nothing wrong! We have to destroy the other guy together. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty messed up, not gonna lie. <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy, Piro? You're not busy fucking whipping your daughter. It wasn't Throne's fault we failed. Yeah, Millie Grant is doing mine. a fantastic job as her. She might be my favorite voice in the game so far. Mom and Daddy, they both have very nice voices. <laughs> Wait, no, Piro, it wasn't your fault either, though. Was just... No. No, 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 no. Oh, see the guy. Don't take the fall. If anyone deserves punishment, it's me. Piro, you didn't even do anything. How noble of you Wait. To come forward. Wait! Piro could be the I imposter. To tears. And he's saying this just to get on her good side. He's pretending it is him so that no one will think it's actually him. He's playing 4D chess here. We don't know. Ooh! Mm. She's gonna whip him too then. Damn. Yes. What a fine reaction. Just what I was hoping for. Mommy's sounding an awful lot like Uni. When Uni's got a whip. In honor of your selfless act, I will call an early end to tonight's meeting. Oh, you can't be serious, Mother. They wanted to see me get whipped more? What the fuck? What the oh, fuck? Things were just getting good. What the fuck? <laughs> Hi, village Joel. Apparently, it's not awkward for the guys standing around. Apparently, they were really enjoying it. What the actual hell? <laughs> Silence, you abominable reptiles. You know, bad background well. characters, bad. I will be leaving our little nest for a spell. Our family is in need of fresh blood. I expect all of you to take good care of our home until I return. Come, Piro. There is a long night ahead. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Marilla, thank you for subscribing. I'm Piro. sorry if this is when you walked in. These chains can't be severed. I remember when I said that the demo was relaxing, also, Marcus. I'm not so sure that I, I have the same opinion anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? How long are each character's route in this? I'm wondering if in the future if I could stream, like, one character's route on stream. Because I'm quite invested. I'm quite invested in her route now. <laughs> Mother has Although where it's turn-based, probably not the best remember. anyway. 
I spent my childhood beaten and bruised. This I've long awful. since forgotten what pain feels like. I steal what our clones want. That's why want. I didn't react. And eliminate those who three stand in three hours. Way. For the full game, that though, do you know how many how hours it took lived. in one? For, like, one full path? Also, that, that's the speed difference between streaming and not streaming. I think, based on that, we'll probably have time for one more demo. Mm, one more route after this one. It makes me wonder. Is pain the only thing I've forgotten? This is really high quality for a demo, too. You get a lot more than I thought you were going to get. I'm glad I decided to go with this demo out of the few that we had. <laughs> Four chapters per path in the original game. Do you know how many like hours for a normal person it would be? <laughs> Future story stuff based on the first game takes a bit longer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Each five chapters. Oh, so around like five hours of route, maybe? So in theory, I could potentially, in like one long stream, finish the rest of Throne Ace route? Potentially around the day it comes out if I'm able to somehow figure it out I probably won't be able to but if I can because I'm really invested <laughs> Yeah, they weren't allowed on the demo are followed by hollow mornings the cycle repeats again and again and again mm. Damn <gasps> If anything happens Here, to this dog, I will kill this. everyone in chat and it's then a myself. Strawberry. I envy you. Living without a collar, bound to no one. Free to roam wherever you please. My good wubby. Who's a good wubby? I see you made a new friend. Yeah. I brought you breakfast. You haven't eaten yet, I assume. That was deep, though. Mm. Wouldn't be able to do the whole one route in one go. Oh, okay. The whole map was designed in the original to meet the eight members, then move on to the eight chapters. Ah! So you do all the chapter ones, then all the chapter twos. Okay, I understand. So it wouldn't be possible. Okay. Mm. It sounds way too long for me to stream the full game, then. I might have to look up other people playing it just so I can see what happens in all of her chapters. Thank you. I don't think I'll have time to get around to it myself. Want one? At least I can do for the best in the nest. Hmm. No thanks. I don't smoke. Maybe mm. you should. People like us need to take joy wherever we can find it. He's like, just take the copium. No! Finish it about 30 to 40 I streams again. No! <laughs> That's too many! <laughs> <laughs> that was the weirdest woof I've ever heard. That was the dog. <laughs> And you're in the wrong line of work, Throne, eh? That's why I'm trying to get out of this line of work. Life here is like a cigarette. Gone in a puff of smoke. He's a traitor, I'm calling it. He's a real traitor. <laughs> you can say that again. He seems too nice. I don't trust him. I think I have trust issues from all the video games I played where I got betrayed by, like, the soft guy. I stopped trusting them. <laughs> we do what we can to survive in this stump. Mm. Living with a collar around our necks from our parents. Yeah, it's still kind of weird. I want to rise in the ranks and get my hands on some real money. Oh, yeah. Then you gotta gamble. Buy good liquor, good smokes, fall asleep in a big bed. Do I even have a bed right now? <laughs> I feel like I probably don't. 
Just imagine her sleeping in like a haystack outside. <laughs> Just in case you want a song, but if not, all good. Let me give you a shout out clip real quick. We're playing the Octopath Traveler 2 demo. It's been really fucking weird so far. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye. Or you didn't want to. I just listened cute. to see that last night. I so much. <laughs> <laughs> Membership alert is Seabat, so that's fine. We have Seabat all the time here. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. I could sing along because it's such a perfect clip. <laughs> I hope you had a lovely stream. For those of you who don't know me, I am Obake Pam, CEO of PlayAsia. Um, hold on, let me see hi to everyone who just came in. Now that I have the alert, where I actually can see names. <laughs> hi, Ashfellows. And da -da -da -da, now for jellyfish. And Savin and Morgan Stern VA and Snagoma and we're um, I'm Abaki Pam CEO of Playasia. We're playing. You're inspired by me. Amazing. I've inspired you to play Sea Bat. That made my life. Hi TK. Um, I have been streaming the Octopath Traveler 2 demo because it just dropped after the Nintendo Direct today, and I got a little excited because it has really good music, so I wanted to check it out. Um, it's been really dark, surprisingly, so far. <laughs> It's been quite good. Uh -huh. I usually stream um, a lot of different things like game demos, Final Fantasy XIV. I do a lot of voice acting in visual novels and mobile game events. Um, Sounds nice. And right now we're just playing some of the demo. Mm -hmm. What do you want, Throne? Uh, just a little dark, yeah. Um. What do I want? I had it on auto We have to get going. Time for work. Oh, here we go. Now I can play it myself. Um, so what happened? What you just missed, essentially. Um. So we're part of a guild of assassins, right? And um. Our daddy keeps a collar on us so that we don't misbehave. And my mommy just whipped me in front of a group of men who got very excited and were sad when she stopped whipping me because they were entertained. It's, it's, um, I'm very confused. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, but this was not... Whatever I didn't expect, this was not it. And yeah, you can request Kion Vampire Girl. Give me a second to pull that up and sing it, and then I'm gonna actually take a washroom break, if you guys don't mind. Um, just real quick, because I want to make sure I don't overdo it too much in one go. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Bing, bing, bing. I'm trying to find the karaoke. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to find the karaoke version of it was surprisingly hard. <laughs> here we go. Hold on, hold on. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I hope the timing is okay in terms of vocal delay. I'm just gonna leave the game on because it's pretty quiet right now. <laughs> Let's check the volume. That should be good. Okay. I was singing this earlier on the stream actually, but without the instrumental, so now you guys get it properly. <laughs> Oh, Jasama. No, Doga, Kana, Kana, 
限界ギリギリ発表寸前キュー二番目に生きてる人がいいいいいえ人なら誰でもいいよ贅沢いはない発見おいしそうな男の子ジュルルいいものあげるくらいがみで思わせぶりにウィンクはみかみながら目を伏せてパッと待ってガッとやってチュッとすってはーしゃがりしゃがりお嬢様かよわいオーラで惑わせる瞳見たら釘付けよ青白い肌赤い唇ヴァンパイアがあるキュー昨年生きてるロリータ愛した人に技を向けてルビーの瞳濡れたまつげのヴァンパイアがあるキュンイエーイ !I really like a lot of the songs from the original idol master うんうんうん It'll be really fun one day to do a karaoke where it's like only songs from like the old Idol Master. I know a few from Cinderella Girls, but I mostly know the old ones. Oh, hi, Stevuchi! Yeah, it's um. The Octopath Traveler 2 demo has, has been a trip so far. <laughs> um, with that being said, I want to make sure that my legs don't. Oh shit, I forgot to do something too. I gotta quickly do it on my break. Uh, give me about five minutes and then we'll finish this route and I'll see about starting at least one more. I wouldn't mind doing at least one more. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, I wanna type one thing real quick before I forget and then and then I will look into. I will look into coming back and doing some more game. I just gotta send a message before I forget. I'm actually sending you a message! Oh, Dessa, I just thought of an idea. <laughs> One second. Send a message. You can feel free to yell at me if my idea is crazy. <laughs> But I had I had an interesting idea. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back in a couple minutes, um, and then we'll play a little bit more of the demo. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure that my bathroom scene. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You've all done three magnifique, preparing for this special event. Mm -hmm. The desserts are incroyable. What is it? Incroyable. Incroyable. <laughs> as always, <laughs> particularly the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Truly something worth a touching moon. Words. So I don't actually know that word. So <laughs> I'm near fluent in French and I still don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Isn't it? It's sobriquet. Sobriquet. Maybe I. Maybe I've never seen that word before. <laughs> I've never heard of this. I. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm using Google. Yes, if Google. I have any uh, French um, speakers in chat, I apologize. I speak French. <laughs> I. How could it poss? How could it possibly? Well, that's bad Wait, grammar. How could it? <laughs> Sorry, what the that's fuck terrible. Is this How could it possible to make chocolate? <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's, li it's it's just it's fully just. How could it be possible to make chocolate taste better in what? Yeah, right? <laughs> like it's like that. It was written by an AI. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. So I'm it's it's, it's I think it's just wait. How could it be possible to make chocolate taste better in that way? Mm hmm. All right, it looks like chat has chose A with Liz Robinette, okay. and that is correct. 
Mm. Oh my god, chat, <laughs> let's go! Let's go, You chat. did not let you be down. Thank you, chat. You did not <laughs> let me die. I'm so... You I'm, let her I'm, live. I'm tearing up here, chat. Come on. <laughs> I guess I'm not really doing any damage right now, am I? What happened? Did the game freeze? Oh my god! I what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I've never had that happen before! I've never had that happen! Wyatt, we can't beat this guy. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna end the instance. Can we set up a new one? I want to take a really quick bathroom break anyway. I kind of need to pee. <laughs> so, yeah, leg kills apparently. Holy shit. <laughs> At least I got to experience my first leg. Now I don't feel left out. Chloe stands up and looks towards the door. She claps her hands in excitement and waves at a broad, bumbling man staggering towards our table. <laughs> Time to see who he is! He's a weave! Okay, I kind of approve. <laughs> I feel like we could be besties! He's a fucking weave! <laughs> he just sums up, hey, babe, with an anime keychain on his pocket. That is a chat! That is a chat! <laughs> Never mind, I don't hate him anymore. I don't hate him anymore. That's a fucking chat. He even has free Wi-Fi on his hand. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect him to be a fucking chat. I if, if someone if someone walked up to my friend and said, hey babe, and they had a waifu keychain on their pocket, I'm sorry, but I'd be like, I can't compete. I don't do your call game chat. <laughs> I am in the end. Oh no. <laughs> what do you guys think? What accessories should I use? What what accessories should I use? What which accessory do you guys think? Oh we can have a flat oh I a Oh my god, he's a butthole. He has a butthole! In medieval times, incest was perfectly normal. Therefore, in this game, incest is perfectly acceptable. Because back in this time and era, it was the norm. Because all the royal families didn't want to lose their pure lineages and shit. That's why you have so much incest in genealogy. <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? A drop. Yeah. <gasps> I almost dropped my cookie down my bra. Ooh. <laughs> But oh. instead, it bounced off my boob and onto the plate again. <laughs> it was quite impressive. <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Now I can still eat it. <laughs> Bob the Builder. It's, it's like Bob the Builder, except Ham the Raider. How does that even go? Ham the Raider. Ham the Raider. I don't know if there are any of the songs. So there's like this one like, it's like Bob the Builder. <laughs> If we're not gonna beat it, we're at least gonna get a dance floor. We're at least having a dance party. <laughs> at least we get this out of it. We can just dance here and and chill until we get totally wrecked. Sorry about that! Now we are back and we are good. We are good to play some more. Mm hmm. All right. Are you back? You can't sleep. No. I hope you're not having insomnia too, Lizzie Shinobi. I'm so sorry. That sucks. All right. Oh. Let's see if we can finish this route, and then we'll have you guys vote on what one we'll do next. Can we also appreciate the light changes depending on the time of day? It looks totally different now that you have a little bit of sunlight peeking in. And the sun is moving! That is so much detail! Insomnia for three in a row? No! Pan. Pan. I feel that. I think I'm on like day four or something. I'm having it myself. Ah! Ah, uh, the 
There you are, Throne. The day Night Cycle's new to this game. Oh, really? So that wasn't in the first one. That's new. Interesting. They definitely look beautiful. I can only imagine how much work must have gone into doing that. I have a job for you concerning our little traitor. So Dad believes me. He's going to send me to kill the traitor. Hmm. Who is it? Scarachi. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. I thought it might be that little worm. He's How the one who said sure? it was me. Either that or it could be Dad. Me to with Diamante. Oh. I don't know who that is, but I'm assuming that's a bad thing. They plan to destroy me, take the black snakes for themselves. Or daddy's the traitor. Okay, okay, I'm actually making a prediction. I don't think it's that simple. I think daddy is the traitor. And maybe he is trying to frame Scarachi because Scarachi's on to him. <laughs> it could be either way. What are my orders? Scarachi is on his way to the Diamante estate as we speak. There is a lot of compression on the voice, so we're a lot of EQ in the bass end. So it kind of makes the dad's voice sound like it's being put through a lot of filters. It sounds good. It's, no one actually sounds like this in real life, only through a microphone. <laughs> bass isn't boosted quite that much with anyone's real voice, Speak even if their voice them. is very low. Kill them both. It doesn't resonate the same way. Scarachi too? No kidding! <laughs> I thought Death that was... What I mean, Scarachi too. Cool. Isn't that like the one guy that we're supposed to kill? The other guy I didn't know. <laughs> However, Diamante is wary after our last break-in. Mm. Security will be tighter. There is a way in, but I don't like it. I don't know if I like the sound of that, if he doesn't like it. <laughs> Hi, Vince Cousin! You still at work? You wanna play the Game Boy games, right? I plan on playing some Wario Land in bed tonight if I have time. <laughs> hmm. I was debating streaming Wario Land 3, actually. But I figured, you know, I, I can't actually cover the full game of Octopath, but I've been interested in following the new game. So I thought this would be the best chance to kinda get to share it off a little bit with you guys, because I know a lot of you guys um, because I've streamed a number of them enjoy JRPGs, so whenever a new JRPG demo comes out, I like to try. I'm not going to be able to do, um, the other one, though, because probably after today, no one will really care that much about a demo anymore. <laughs> and I don't have a lot of time. So I at least wanted to get this one in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me. Yeah, they are really Diamante long. That's why I really like st um, streaming the demos flesh. when they come out. Because there's a lot less to commitment to finishing to a demo. Oh, no. What's up, Brad? Um. Hmm. I guess we're becoming uh, a fake angel of the night. Could disguise yourself as a brothel girl. Well, I guess we get to learn more about the brothel because we're joining it. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Basil. God oh, damn it. I doubt I could convince anyone in these clothes. How am I gonna convince my own ally that I'm a brothel girl? I mean, he knows what I look like. <laughs> what do I do? Fucking wear a mask and change my voice? We want. We take it. Understood, Father. Mm. I will find myself In this a case, suitable we take outfit to sneak into the Diamante estate. Just go steal one off of a random girl. <laughs> That's true. I could just wear Very glasses like Superman. Child. No one will know who I am. Perfect plan, C14. Perfect plan. Mm -hmm. What could possibly go wrong? I must leave town to attend business elsewhere. 
you have finished your job, come and join me in Winterbloom. Winterbloom is a fancy name. <sighs> Do not disappoint me, Throne. No promises. I think I'm like the queen of disappointing people, so no promises, buddy. Now to find a disguise. Can we steal it from the cat girl, ears and all? Then we can do both roots in one. <laughs> I must find a costume worthy of the role. A brothel girl's clothes would do nicely. Time to go back to the brothel! Oh, I can steal townspeople's belongings as well. Okay. I just have to make sure I don't accidentally ambush them. <laughs> Let's see. Can I steal this guy's Viking hat? Probably not. Is she? Oh, she gave me some bread. And I'm going to steal more bread. Hmm. Oh, if I fail my reputational. Let's, let's, what? Wait, wait a second. Oh, yo, wow. yeah, the poison. Um, I don't think I should eat that bread. <laughs> what? What is the bottle of poison dust doing here? I want it though. Oh, twenty percent failure rate, and I failed. No. No! I wanted the poison dust! Shit. I thought it would have been useful for stealing stuff from people. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah, I think all my RNG was used in the UK. Yeah, there are times certain that looking in someone's inventory can tell a story. Definitely this one. 100%. Okay, cool. My disguise is complete. Now I just took it off her body. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, be sure to save often. Don't worry, I've been. Yeah, RNG said no. I'm, aren't I still in the same outfit? This is the exact same outfit. You're not even going to give me a new sprite when I went through all that effort to steal someone's clothes, really? <laughs> How dare you! I guess now we can go upstairs because the guy's not blocked. Uh, no. Wait. Can I not explore inside at all? <laughs> steal the keys! Gold ring. And sell that. I thought we had to go in here and find Scarachi. But there's nowhere to go in there. Hmm. Give me a good way of getting equipment early on. Ooh, interesting. Where do I find him? I guess I have to go up here and find him then. He plays the egg. <laughs> what the fuck? Who plays an egg? There's a theater, that's cool. I wonder if there's actually like a cutscene show. If you have a ticket and can go in, that'll be really cool. Let's go see some theater shows. What a slovenly- How dare you, Mr. Top Hat Man? Excuse me? I think I look hot, so you can just shut up with those insults right there. The green marker, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that, mm-hmm. No good luck. Oh, uh, yeah, relatable. I can go inside a number of other buildings, though. They'll just go to... Oh, buy items! How much money do I have? Mm. 3,000. I don't know if I really want to buy anything yet. I don't feel like I'm going to have any battles hard enough to justify buying anything yet. Mm. Protective earring. Got it. 
I'll take that. <laughs> Stealing is fun. Hmm. Ooh, what do the soul stones do? I sound like they're probably good to have. I can steal, <gasps> I can steal everything? <laughs> oh, there's no limit to stealing. Oh, baby. I'm about to have the fullest inventory you ever saw. At least when things are a hundred, because I'm a wimp. <laughs> Their cakes are lacking my new perfect. <laughs> this game, I should not be allowed to play it. It's mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh is so good. You want, you know, an easiest way to sneak into the theater? I'll get take a, that. Get a ticket. That's the easiest way. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, please, I am the police. You can't stop me from stealing. I'm the police! I love how I just stole I'll take a that. plum. <laughs> I, I stole a whole plum! Ew, I don't want to steal your used handkerchief. Fuck that shit. <laughs> That's disgusting. Is that something people do in Elder Scrolls? They just go around robbing people? <laughs> that sounds fun. I'll take that. <laughs> That's the best skill, truly. Why would you play as anyone else when you can just go around town stealing everything? There's no reason to play as anyone else. I should have stole from Top Hat Guy. Shit, I messed up. I was summoned by Lord Diamante to entertain At least now I, I changed my clothes. Another brothel, girl. Sure. I guess that means I'm convincing. And a pretty one at that. Ew, gross. How about entertaining us instead? Sure, with my knives. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find us more satisfying than the Lord himself. Wouldn't he be pissed if he found out that you guys were saying this, though? My apologies, but I doubt you boys could afford my talents. <gasps> Damn. She roasted them anyway. Get moving. That was even more satisfying. Just the way she's like, you guys can't even afford me. Much better. Let's have a nap on the couch well, waiting for him. Before also, I the design in this welcome. room is really pretty. Have you guys ever been inside of a building or a room like a room like this in real life? Out of curiosity, I've been in some rooms like this. Um, I have not lived in a room like this. But I've been inside rooms like this. Not in like necessarily like houses of people that are No, actually, yeah. But it was a weird situation. I don't know how to explain. <laughs> it's like someone's fancy house, um, but it was a fundraiser, and they were associated with the school. So we rented out their house. Like, they just kind of let us use it more like. And then we ran a fundraiser tea party, but it was in, like, this big Victorian mansion with, like, all the couches and stuff like this. It was so cool. I just, like, wanted to explore the whole house, but I felt bad. Like, I can't just do that. Hmm. <laughs> One soldier outside. I must make quick work of him. I have to find Diamante and Scaracci as soon as possible. We could, <laughs> we could also just kill the soldier, though. Hmm. Oh, I'm liking the BGM inside here. This is more of a waltz, right? You have the one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. This is more of a waltz. You can tell when a song is a waltz because it often has a heavy first beat. 
and then like um, two light ones or vice versa, a light one and two heavy ones, like ba 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 I really like waltzes in fantasy games. Something about the timing of a waltz really suits like fantasy <laughs> video games in my That's opinion. Right. Oh shit, random encounters inside. Okay, I'm gonna have to beware of that. After running your party at night and turn the tide to the battle in your favor. Command all allies actually Oh shit! What to do? Afraid of the dark. <laughs> Oh, now I know he's weak to dark, so I think that should be pretty easy. Um, it'll be a knife. But he's broken, so it might be. Maybe, maybe it's good enough. Oh shit, it wasn't good enough. <laughs> I should have layered it on like three times. Being in an abandoned mental asylum. <gasps> okay, actually though, actually though, I can't give context, but I was inside an abandoned mental asylum. I got to, I got to explore one. Yes. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to fight him if I just knock him out. Can I steal his shit? Oh, I guess I can't steal his shit when he's down. Is she in a patient? No, I was abandoned. I couldn't have been a patient. It was abandoned. <laughs> oh, treasure. Unless I killed everyone else and that's why it was abandoned. You never know. Oh. Come and get me. If you can, try to get a little bit more um, GP before continuing on. I don't see anyone that I can ambush what or steal stuff, do? so I might be kind of in a bit of a pinch, actually. <laughs> Afraid of the dark. At least this seems to reset every battle, which helps. Cleaning time. There we go! That's what I was waiting for. Ready? Yeah! That should I get him right away. I want. One of the skills you can unlock with 50 GP is a HP and drain! Oh, that would be really good for surviving. Mmm. I should try to get that if I I should have stolen from everyone in town, fuck. <laughs> ah! And just keep stealing until I can heal myself. Then I can even steal their HP. <laughs> hmm. Would have been good, yeah. I guess I can't go that way. I really like the, um, the 3D perspective inside this building in particular. Like, the town was nice, but this is even better. Can I not? I was hoping to ambush him. But I guess he's down, so I can't do anything. And to win it low, it is a pretty game, isn't it? Oh, shit. I'm just gonna admire him. Oh, that's a doggy! Oh, shit. It only heals what when you level do? up, doesn't it? Shit. I feel like the knife's probably good against the dog. Ooh! No more more. My turn. I'm gonna take seven points though, and I don't know about getting them back. Oh, the sword is probably better against the dog. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna really die! Cleaning time. <laughs> At least I can take out the dog, maybe, and then I can hopefully survive a spear attack. Yeah! That's all I wanted. Healing grape, let's go! <laughs> he was a big dog. <clears throat> I don't know what his weak points are. If it's like Fire Emblem, a sword should be fine, right? 
Yeah! Okay. Ah, oh, he's not dead. Shit. Don't thrust me. Can I heal outside of battle? Queen Tiger. Can I heal outside of battle, or should I have, do I have to wait for like another battle and heal on the first turn? I'm a little nervous about my HP right now. Hmm. Yes. Okay. How do I do that? Oh, okay. Wait. I just press healing and I heal. Are you serious? I don't even have to use items. I just press healing. Or is that because I leveled up? Maybe that's because I leveled up. Wait, I can unlock a skill? Where do I do that? Oh! HP thief. Yeah, that's, that's a really good one to learn, I think. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. That's gonna be really helpful. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, chest. Shadow Soul Stone. Are the Soul Stones a one use item or are they like a weapon that you can use a bunch of times? Why are they all sleeping? <laughs> I can't even ambush them. We're still their shit. I guess you can't go that way. You can actually steal blood. It's pretty great. Oh. Those are the that came up. Oh, doggies. Breaking an enemy, then boosting HP. Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Oh, shit. Too slow. I think I'll use it on the second enemy, though. Ready? Because I'll probably need it more by then. Well, I can use it both times. What to do? This could be using six. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's go there and try with two. Nice! They got rid of steel SP. Yeah, I am My worried turn. about running out of SP. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little worried about that. <laughs> oh, sweet. Ready? Uh, uh, there. This. Ah, I didn't die. Shit. What to do? Mm. I should probably save the HP thief for next time. Yeah! Wait, now it's good. Now it's good. Now it's good. You're too close. Oh, I didn't. He it didn't heal as much as I thought All it would. Up. I guess it only heals a little bit sometimes. Being able to last in the first game was broken. I can imagine that would be pretty broken, honestly. <laughs> I'd make it really easy. The song. I was about to say it almost sounds like it would be out of Final Fantasy, but I mean they're both square, so it kind of makes sense. Ah! Good thing I went this way. I would like to see an Octopath Final Fantasy XIV collab. I think that'd be really cool. Like an event, but it's it's in 14, but it's kind of like a diorama like this. Even if your character's not in the diorama form. Even if it's just the others, I think that'd be really cool. You can equip that sword. Yeah, 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 good call. Deep sword. Um, physical attack 100. That's the one I have equipped, right? If I click on it, it'll give me other options. Uh, long sword. Oh, it's better. I don't really have anything else better, though. <gasps> Wait, I have some accessories I think I can equip. Yeah, protective earring! Let's go! I don't think I have any of the other categories, though. Body. Black attire. Ooh, more defense. Let's fucking go. That'll be helpful. How's our necro? Hello. Oh. I guess you just press that and you heal. <laughs> cool. Oh, 
cool. I hope we can beat this storyline before we get kicked out. <laughs> I guess I can't use Y on him, huh? Oh, you buy shit! I don't have to knock him out. I, I buy shit from him. What's your thoughts on the demo so far? It's a lot more sus than I expected. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying it. Oh, that's a big difference. Hmm. Yeah. Wait. Fur armor? <laughs> Why is the fur armor so strong? I guess we gotta go full furry because that gives us a huge boost. I love it here. <laughs> Why? Yeah, who did they hire for the dialogue and naming items too? <laughs> Why? It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I guess we gotta. We gotta. We gotta go out here. <laughs> That's not try below. We're going. We're going out the window. It looks like he tried to escape. <laughs> oh, it's a puppy! He's confused by my fur armor. He thought I was fellow dog. Shit. My turn. Shit! <laughs> Break! Cleaning time. At least I'm dodging. Oh my god! Break! Break! What to do? Oh, I'm not using the sword. I thought I was using the sword. Oh my god! This doesn't break. Break! Why can't I break this dog? Oh, status effect. Let's play a character. Status has changed. The digit beside the icon shows the number of turns. The effect lasts. It's preceded by an X that indicates the number of times the effect will activate. Um. Poison. I already I know what poison does, obviously. <laughs> a silence, unable to use skills, that's pretty bad. Blindness, accuracy is decreased, terror, unable to boost, unconsciousness, unable to perform any actions, sleep cannot perform any until hit by an attack. Uh, confusion. Actions decided at random. Oh shit. Do I have a my turn. Oh, I have one shit. There we go, there we go. I oh, take he's what dead. I want. <laughs> God damn. I broke him and killed him in one go. I didn't know that was possible. Hmm. Let's see. I'm sure he's outside. Is he already dead? Did someone beat me to it? Ow. Wait, was this another trap? For me to go in and be framed and then kill me? Because it looks like someone was already here. I think... <gasps> was I right about Daddy being the bad guy and now he's trying to get rid of me because I'm too smart? He's dead. But why? And Diamante, too. It was a setup. I was right. Never trust the softies! Like Remember Papa. when I said I don't fully trust Piro because he seems too nice, so I don't trust him? I was right. <laughs> Think you can fool me? I've been nest. betrayed so many times. I know when you're not actually as nice. <laughs> kind of sometimes. <laughs> Piro. Oh, this... You were taking too long. I can't believe so I'm getting killed by Gunvolt. What the fuck, Gunvolt? After all those times I assisted you, you really? Too. Is this because I would never use you in the game? I refused to use Invincible Gunvolt mode. Not quite. You see, there was never a traitor to begin with. 
Huh? What? You mean the whole group is against me? They're all trying to get rid of me? He told you that Skadachi was the traitor, didn't he? That's true. Dad can't be a traitor to himself. That must mean that he just wants to get rid of me for some reason. He must see me as a threat. Hi, Pika Zerker. That's a good night, Robert. He said to come to the Diamante estate and kill them both, right? <sighs> but you see... Father told me that you were the traitor. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. He's trying to get us to off each other. It is daddy. And he told Skarachi that it was me. That I was the Oh, sh <gasps> never mind. That it was a three way. Why? Because that's the kind of parents they are. They planned this whole thing. Yeah, they just planned... They planned, like, a three-way to make us all kill each other. Or it was a test. And whichever one of we're us survived it was meant to be... Yeah! Best of oh my survives. god, that's how they're choosing their successor! Whichever one survives the three-way battle! That's how they Shit. choose a successor. That's pretty fucked up. Hey, we dead one. That's this road is really fucked up. <sighs> that job was all part of the plan too. So they they were just trying to get rid of the other guy because they didn't want him to be a successor. <gasps> Donnie was just eliminated from contention earlier in the process. Mm. No. Why would you want to do that, though? Wouldn't you want to have more people that are good at the top so that you can have more success as a group? Like, why would you off all the most skilled people? That makes no sense. It makes sense for the sake of drama, but not for the sake of efficiency. <laughs> No, the plot thickens even before the full game is out. Wings. People will jump at the chance to take them down. That's why they need to find a worthy successor, no matter mm. what it takes. Mm -hmm. And that successor will be me, head of the Black. In other words, now we gotta fight him. I'll be the one controlling this town from the shadows. I mean, sure, I don't want it. <laughs> I want to escape the organization, bro. I just have it. And I'll do whatever I must to get there. Can't I just say sure and walk away? You can have it. Because clearly I don't want to be the successor. I literally told don't him that I want to live a long life I and be out of here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Throne. Piro. I'm fine, we'll kill him. Has right? your dagger not tasted enough blood already? I think we can kill him. Hero. What to do? What the fuck? Why am I the size of his foot? Why is this guy so fucking tall? I can't, I'm not even tall enough to bite his kneecaps. Remember when I said I could kill him? Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I can't even bite his kneecaps! How the fuck do I kill this guy? I'll just nibble on his toes. Do you think that'll work? Can I nibble on his toes? I don't even have full health. I hate I love it here. I love it here. I fucking love it here. <laughs> Open the book. Why is I broken? Ready? Oh wait, I wanna... That... He didn't seem to like that one, so let's, um, boost it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, luckily 
Apparently he doesn't do much damage, despite his incredibly big stature. <laughs> I think I only have Sword and Dagger. Well, Sword isn't good anyway. Ready? What about? There! Oh! There we go. I thought Isn't I used Sword last time, but I mixed it up. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let's try that again. Now I should probably heal. <gasps> ah, maybe one more turn, actually. Oh, never mind. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Absolutely. I'm gonna heal right now. Grape time! I'll take this. Bosses in both games are like this, they're bigger than us. Oh, okay. Why, though? What to do? Why, though? Who made this stylistic choice? It's fucking weird. <laughs> My turn. That's what I'm doing. I'm saving Darkest Night until he's broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I know, um, it really does damage. Mm -hmm. Afraid of the dark. For dramatic effect, I guess. <laughs> to me, that's no dramatic effect. This is fucking stupid. There's no reason for us to fight. It gets rid of the drama and makes me laugh because it's not cool. It's so stupid. <laughs> Why can't I also be tall? If you want to make the boss fights dramatic, why just him? Can't I also be tall for like two seconds? Cannot be a successor as long as you live. Well, really, I could just run away, and you could we could both agree that we'll never set foot in the town again, so that we never see each other, and therefore they never know I'm alive. I have to. I must kill you. Well, no. It's the only way I'll ever be free of this God's forsaken place. If you're trying to take over it, you won't be free, buddy. I'll see Rona for something to follow. You can't be super tall because Thrones Bobo Boo 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 that. I can't even say Boo Boo. I was like Boo 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 Lean power. Once the lean power gauge is full, characters can use unique commands in battle. I'll fill the gauge and unleash your legend power! Mine's not full yet. Really are the best in the nest. Ready? Also, on chat! Are you planning on playing the Entry and Odyssey remaster when it comes out? I don't know if I'm going to play the full game because JRPGs are really hard to play as a streamer, but... If there's a demo, oh, absolutely, absolutely. I'm pretty excited about it. It's not a game I've ever gone around to playing, but I've known about it for a while, so I was pretty excited to see that announcement myself. Yeah. You're finished. Yeah. Ready? Pretty weak. Yeah. For a boss. <laughs> pretty weak. <laughs> His attacks are doing so little damage. The dancer story in the first game is pretty good too. Interesting. This is not the dancer though, it's the thief. Mm. Latent power leave no trace. Once the gauge is full, you can unleash Thrones latent power. You can act twice in a single turn. My turn. How do I? Oh, X. As swift as a snake. Mm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was hoping I could have broken them with that bonus. It would have been fun. Mm -hmm. Can they break you Ready. too? Can enemies break you? Afraid of the dark. The counter on the shield icon to show how many more hits before break. Oh really? I never noticed that. Five. Okay, okay, okay. This is far enough. It seems to get longer and longer. Oh shit. Ready? I don't know what that is, but I'm scared. So I'm gonna defend. <laughs> uh, great. Take this. Why is he going all dangerously? I'm really nervous. <gasps> oh, that was pretty bad. Cleaning time. He's not weak against daggers, though, so that's not the best one to use, unfortunately. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to use a grape yet. <laughs> Never mind, we're using a grape! <laughs> grape! I don't know if I can 
survive this battle. Ready? I take it back when I said this is stupid easy. Watch me. I'm starting to think I was wrong. <laughs> oh no. Cleaning mm. time. Two more and he's broken. <laughs> Wait, I have extra. I have extra extra BPs. I should be using those. I have extra BPs. This is far enough. Hold on. What to do? Ah! You can break early. Ready? If you use that. Interesting. Oh shit. Ah! I have to keep attacking with the boost then. I have no SP at all anymore. <laughs> Is there any items that can restore SP? Because I have none. I have actually none. <laughs> like none at all. Ready? Hmm. Ah. Restores to an ally. Can that restore to myself as well? Don't give up! Ayo! Wait. Yeah! Okay! We summoned Satan and got rid of him. Perfect. <laughs> Amazing! I'm so glad I stole that from somebody. Or did I keep that from a treasure chest? Either way, I stole it from the house if I didn't steal it from a villager. really does not yeah. belong to this job. You got me good. Mm -hmm. I should have known. I was no match for the best in the nest. I Thanks do wish I didn't repeat Roni. certain catchphrases so often, you though. Like, play be your be best the in the nest one more time. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> That's not what I want. Every time I breathe it in, I barf. Or I think Feels yummy. My very I become a beast who craves more blood. I feel sick. What then? What do and you want? It is true, want, though. The smell of blood's pretty awful. I'm tired, Piro. I just want to be free. Your friend said something about that being what he didn't like about the first game. Well, I guess it stays true to the first game in that regard, then. To go wherever I want to go. Free, huh? He's like, people nice. like us don't get to live free. We've killed people. <laughs> if we go well, free, we get caught and go to jail. <laughs> Can't I just, like... Our chains find something can't to sever it. Can't I find like a Not blowtorch? Ever. Can't I just use the blowtorch and melt it off? I mean, I might burn my neck a little, but get some sort of uh, fireproof barrier. You're wrong. To I'll slip in between it and claim freedom with my own two hands. If I'm a thief, can't I like in theory pick the lock so I can take it off? What the fuck? That is bad <laughs> writing. I should be able to pick that lock and take if that right off my neck. You can. Right. Throne. That's true. Also, if you take long enough with a file, you could file it off. I feel like I'd be caught. It'd probably take days or weeks, and I would get caught trying. Well, he did. Hero. All three of my friends from the beginning are fucking dead. Clearly, I need to make better friends. I think it's more like I can pick the lock. The game just decided that the character is not allowed to use their brain. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's see what I can 
steal from his corpse. That's me every game friend dies. Ah, uh, can I loot them? For the first <laughs> time in my life, <sighs> I know what I want. I want to be free. I think you might be right this time. I think that is how the demo ends, Ramses. But we've only been streaming two and a half hours, so I think we could do one more route if you guys want to do one more route. Yeah, the sets are really pretty. But first, I need to rid myself of this collar. And to do that, I need two keys. So we gotta kill mom and dad. Mother holds one of them. Mm -hmm. But she left in search of new members. Also, night, Alan. Have a good day at work. I must find her if I want that key. <laughs> yeah, Father the sets are amazing. Mother. The music is amazing. The dot. What are you talking about? The dialogue's amazing in the worst way. <laughs> That feels very for kids, but for adults. He's gone to winter bloom. <laughs> for kids, for adults. Is that just basically adult swim at that point? And wishes me. Yeah, the demo so doesn't end here. You just can't job. advance in her story anymore. But for the rest of the three hours, I can explore the starting area. But I'd rather switch to someone else. Finding him will be easy. Mm. Killing him will be much harder. Hmm. But I must eliminate them both if I'm to get those keys. Mm -hmm. Now, where to first? For the first time, I cannot wait to see mother and father. Now Theron became a hunter now. Oh, this song is really good, too. I definitely want to do an Octopath flute stream at one point. I think that would be really fun. By starter area, they mean everyone's starter area combined, so you can actually recruit the others. Ah, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... So should I restart the game? How do I switch to someone else's, Brandon? Do you know? Because I don't want to just explore the town. So is that something that I can kind of do a little bit in the roots? I'd rather do one more route. Mm. Do we go to the world map? Mm. I have to find the other characters and listen to their story. Wait, I thought that I could, I thought that I could restart and have a different save file to find another character and start their route. Cause I don't have a lot of time left cause it's a three hour limit, right? Am I gonna get kicked out as soon as I get to a new character? I thought I could have three hours to start over once I find a new character. Is that not how it works? Would I be better off starting a new file? I'm not sure. Be quicker if you restart. Let's restart then. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. I'm gonna hide it for just a second. I'm gonna kill it and reopen the game. Mm -mm -mm. And I should be able to start a new file, I think. Mm -mm. Uh, we love to see it. <laughs> Let me try that again. Hmm. Only one save file for the demo, so you'll have to rewrite. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to get to the full game for quite a long time if I'm able to get to it, so I don't mind restarting. I'd rather restart and then speed run a new route. Mm. Who do you guys want me to try next? I'll run a poll if it doesn't look very even, but just in case the census of who we're doing next seems pretty consistent, um, 
I'm gonna look at chat first. What do you guys think? Which one of these characters do we want first? There's the nurse. There's the merchant. There's the dancer, who seems really cute, honestly. <laughs> There's the samurai. There's the cat girl. We already did her. There's the cleric. And there is the scholar. I see one for cat girl. And one for, who is he, Cotty? I'm that one means. Cotty is the, um... I seem excited for Cat Girl because of her design, but I'm gonna admit her story doesn't actually interest me that much from the images. We have one request for Cat Girl, one for, oh my God, it seems pretty even between the warrior and the cat girl. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to do a poll between warrior and cat girl. There's one person who said nurse, but otherwise it seems pretty even between these two. Hmm. I think the samurai is winning. Okay, it's leaning pretty heavily in the warrior direction. <laughs> it's leaning really heavily in the warrior direction. The dancer would be a lot lighter, but she probably plays similar to Throne. Hmm. I'm gonna make a poll. To be fair, because I'm seeing a lot of samurai or cat girl, so let's do a poll. Mm -hmm. Which route we do? The poll will only work on YouTube, I'm afraid. If you're on Twitch, just put exclamation point YouTube when it'll pull up a link and you can see it. Or exclamation point chat, and you'll have access to a link that'll have both chats. You just scroll over to the YouTube one. What? What? Root? We do! Samurai. Cat girl. Okay, guys, it's up to you. It's up to you! God, it's so close. <laughs> as soon as Finish is downloading, you're going merchant? Have fun! I thought the merchant one looked pretty good too, to be honest. I don't know if I'd want to prioritize it over some of the others, but it does look really fun. Also, Alan Smithy. Mm -hmm. The drift don't quit. Yeah, everyone in this game looks so fashionable. <laughs> Mm. Y'all are just a bunch of weebs. That's why you want the samurai. <laughs> to be fair though, we did play as a thief and that was a pretty, um, that was playing as a girl and it was pretty dark. This one seems kind of dark, but it's playing as a dude. So it might be a decent contrast. Um, but yeah, warrior is winning and we're at 62% with 21 votes. I think the samurai is probably going to win. I think I'm gonna call it. It's been there quite a while. All right, we're doing Samurai. Sorry, cat. Oh, wait, went down a little bit. <laughs> but it was only one vote. I think Samurai is the clear winner. I want to get moving on the game because I got to go to bed. So <laughs> Warrior is a bit easier in the first game's demo. So I'm thinking it'll be easier for maybe. It is winning. It is winning. Sorry for you cat girl fans out there. You had your chance to vote. <laughs> we're going Samurai. my blade to my friends. It was evening out a little bit, but I'm also a little bit crunched for time. It's already quite late. I have a really important... Ah, there's a treasure! Thank you for the raid! I have a really important thing to do tomorrow. I can't lack too much sleep. Let me give you a shout-out real quick! Also, here's my song list in case you want one, but we're gonna have to wait until I get to a safe moment. If you don't want one, though, it's all good. There you go. Thanks for the raid! What are you doing? I like your cravat. Reminds me of Miles and Zork. Wait, is that a QR code? Can I scan that QR code? Oh my god, did you actually try scanning the QR code? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant IRL. God damn it. Hey, is that scannable? <laughs> Guys, is that a real QR code? Did, it, did you ever scan it? Did it actually do something? Yeah, if the Somnium so Falls can do now. it... I I need to know what your viewers did. What happened? What happened? Did you find out? 
Also, for those of you who just came in and don't know me, hello, my name is Obaki Pam. I'm CEO. It didn't work, damn it. I'm CEO of Play Asia. I play lots of different games and do lots of different music streams. And today we are doing the demo of Octopus Traveler 2 because it just dropped a little while ago and I was really excited to give it a try. Mm -hmm. You were doing. Well, you got me a just at the start. This was the first line of dialogue. We just started the warrior route. So let's give it a look. Don't waste your breath. If you're going to pray, pray for the ones fighting for their lives, not those already in the dirt. Damn, that was cold. I didn't come here to pray. I came here to remember. That is kind of sad. He sounds like he doesn't want to be in this line of like stuff either. He doesn't want to kill. Oh yeah, he's a guy that just wants peace, right? Mm. To remember the friends who gave their lives on the altar of our mission. I like the waves of ponytails going swoosh in the wind. Today, really nice pixel animation. Mm. I really like how they have the the like banners on the weapons time, my blowing in the wind in the background as well. Then let's nice join touch. the fray, Ritsu. This area looks so different from the town. Oh my god, there's so many people. <sighs> Alright. I like how the people are basically forming the wall. I'm just chilling. Imagine, you see all this death and you just like stand in the middle and run in circles. This is pretty violent compared to the last route. I mean, I know that we literally straight up killed people in the last one, but we're just like watching a whole war go on here. Don't soil your britches, Igati. Yeah, I guess I got to not pee myself. <laughs> I might need another bathroom break soon just to make sure I don't. I would worry about yourself. Yeah, we're taking part in My it now. My name will be remembered by history. I'll etch it upon the heavens themselves. I will die. The music almost sounds like, like Fire Emblem in this one too. Well said, Mitsu. Let us press on for the glory of Ku. Oh God, he's Edel Guard. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's go. Prepare yourself. Oh, I also have a spear. Yeah. It's my turn. Oh, wait. No! Dead. I won't die here. Oh, that's true. That's a definite red flag. He's dead. He's already dead, basically. If I have an octopath character to meet each other, like, wow, they're so cheesy. I'm glad I'm not like that. That would be how they meet. And they're all just, they're all just as cheesy. Sometimes cheesy is not always a bad thing, though. It can be fun. I like cheese in my games. Not as a food. <laughs> Forward, Ritsu. Mm. I... I'm calling it Ritsu's dying in this demo. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> hmm. Prince Hikari's display has put the fear of death into them. Mm. Now for the finishing touch. Cheese is earnest. I like games when they're cheesy and they're not ashamed to be cheesy. When games are trying to be cool but they're cheesy, that's painful and cringe. <laughs> but when games are cheesy and embrace their cheese, that's usually the best kind for me. Clan Ku shall rise from the desert as its ruler. Mm. General Mugu, you lead the pride of our military. No, that's Kazani alone. That's true. There's good cheese and bad cheese, though. <laughs> Sometimes something is so cheesy that you're just like, mmm. Mm mm. Jello shot it well. Penta! Thank you for the raid! Hello! Uh, let me just get one thing. Hold on. So, for those of you who don't know me, I am Obaki Pam, CEO of PlayAsia! And right now, we watched the Nintendo Direct earlier, and they just announced that Octopath Traveler 2 had a demo that dropped today! So we're having a bit of 
good. We're over chill stream right now, checking out the Octopath 2 demo. And, uh, you missed a really, really sus route where, what the fuck? Wait, I have a screenshot. You want to see it? You want to see it? Hold on. You want to see the screenshots I took? Here you go. Unusual, father. <laughs> So my dad put a collar on me, and this is the line. Lately, this collar feels tighter than usual, father. <laughs> what the fuck? I was so confused! And if you thought that was bad enough... This was like five minutes later. You want mother's whip, don't you, thrown it? I did not indeed want Mother's Whip. I did not. <laughs> but we got Mother's Whip. We got it like seven times. Mom would not stop whipping me. It was, I don't know what I expected from a JRPG, but this was not it. <laughs> Whatever I expected, this was not it. In comparison, um, the new route, we just started the warrior one. It's been pretty chill. In comparison, it's a Brick Solid and Zervin, thank you for subscribing. Um, in comparison, this one's been pretty normal. Um, but yeah, it's an RPG. And let me get one of Pippa's videos real quick, just for people who don't know who Pippa is, hold on. I always like to give a video. I was doing song requests as well for raids. Um, if you have one in mind, um, I can try maybe, but also, um, I, I kind of wore my throat out a little bit in the past hour-ish, so it depends. But I can try. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna keep going for now, but I'm still gonna show one of your videos. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Overwatch One Punch Man collab? Wait, new axolotl. I kind of want to see what the axolotl is. It looks very cute. Mm -hmm -hmm. I want to learn about the axolotl. What? Wow. Oh, the building my axolotl! Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it in person, but I've heard about it. I want to see that one. Hold on. I'm going to mute the game and pull up your short real quick so people know who you are. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh. oh, God. What happened to my capture? So, Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was so fucked. There we go. Okay. This is Pippa! For those of you who aren't familiar, let me just um, get the audio fixed and mute the game real briefly so everyone can hear it. There we go, there we go. <laughs> this is Pippa! The bear released another actual waddle, and I think that's unfair. And why is that unfair, you might ask? <laughs> it is so cute! <laughs> so the bear released another. I curse you because now, now you made me want it. You now made me want the actual <laughs> That's so rainbow and fluffy. Just look at it. Guys. Guys. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I need it. It's so fluffy and tiny and I need it. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back to playing the game for now though. <laughs> and if anyone did see a request from Pippa, let me know so I don't miss it. Chat's going really zoom. So it's a little hard for me to catch everything right now. But thanks again so much for the raid. I hope you guys had a lovely time at your stream. Uh, we're just having a bit of a relaxing day here, yeah. <laughs> so let's get back to the JRPG. The shall wait for the time to strike, and follow in your way with scour the <laughs> And when the fury of the storm subsides, our enemy will be seen. You got your butts kicked in Tetris? <gasps> Was she playing against you guys in Tetris? Oh my god, that sounds really fun. <laughs> I should play Tetris against viewers sometime. That'll be chaos. Especially because I'm bad at Tetris. <laughs> Every time I even think about playing Tetris, instead of Tetris, I play Dr. Mario. <laughs> I keep meaning to do a Dr. Mario stream, actually. I haven't gone around to it, but I'd really like to. She failed a lot! <laughs> Understandable, because same. You're actually CEO of Playasia. I know! For those of you who don't know, I, I run Playasia. We sell lots of games and lots of cultured shit. Lots of lots of spicy figures. 
<laughs> and spicy games. And we also have this one up for pre-order. And I'm gonna shill one thing actually right now, if you don't mind. Forgive my shilling. I have new merch, kind of, that just came out. I figured it's a good chance to show you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ba -ba 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 so right now, I actually have a Valentine's card that you get if you buy anything from my store with a physical, um, a physical copy of anything from my link. You get a free copy of this very, very cute Valentine's card. I pinned the link to my um, store in the description. It will bring you um, to the section for this particular game that I'm playing, but if you buy anything from the store, it'll come with this card. As long as you use my link to get there. Um, and I also have a bunch of merch for sale there as well. If you search my name, Obake Pam, you can find an acrylic standee of me, and it comes with some keychains. You can find my hoodie. The hoodie that I wear on one of my models. You can buy my actual hoodie. <laughs> it's so cute! Uh, hold on, I think I actually have a slideshow of it. I can pull it up and see if there's anything. Uh, oh shit, that's so huge! <laughs> Let me resize this, it's too big. Um... It's too big. Oish. There we go. Um, it's like some stickers and shit that we have. Um, hold on, I'm just trying to see if it goes to my hoodie. I don't know. <laughs> and we have this paper fam as well with oh, the stickers. Yeah, Every order from my money. store comes with one of the very cute stickers. And that's Amiya. She's a very cute VTuber. You should also follow Amiya. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go right away to a hoodie though, so you can just look it up if you want it. We're gonna play some more game. <laughs> it is Amiya. Yes, I love Amiya. <laughs> I actually did an off collab a while back with Amiya. She's so sweet! Mm. Also, I can't catch every name because it's going so fast, but thank you to everyone who subscribed. I really do appreciate it. I usually try to read everyone, but when it gets really for a while, I have to kind of not or I don't do anything on the stream. <laughs> hmm. I'll see you, multiple gamer, and thanks for stopping by when you did. Wah! I think I could do a good battle cry. What do you guys think? What would my battle cry be? What do you think my battle cry would be? Would it be like a rah? Rah? Or would I be like rah? <laughs> Well, 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 if it's an Obake, we'll literally steal you in a work dungeon and accidentally forget to mention the literal rat gang fam. Yeah, we have rats. They're my army. I love them. Mm -hmm. Hi, Nerzam. Oh, yeah, please. Second one. Money. <laughs> I guess I give those aggressive, dangerous vibes, don't I? <laughs> Just, wait, no! Brandon, my battle cry wouldn't be <gasps> while I run at you. <laughs> that would be so stupid. <laughs> now I need a game. I need a game now where the battle cry, just like while someone attacks, they're just like <gasps> with the most intense, scary expression. I just need this in my life now. <laughs> Are you offering to step on us? Because Is that, was that was that a threat or an offer? Just say it. <laughs> Maybe they may. Oh, there is a game actually that lets you record your own um, sound effects. I saw Ollie playing it once actually on her channel. I don't remember what it was called. They play as like a car. I was like, hello. It's like I don't know how to explain it. You play. It's like Jello car. You play as a jello car and you get to record all the sound effects yourself. So all I was playing in the car was like, <laughs> and I was laughing so hard I started crying. <laughs> Hi, creator. Mm -mm. It was like, I don't know what it's called. I don't think it's called Jelly Car. It was like Jelly World or something. Also, Fuzzy Mac and Calvin W, thank you for subscribing and follow. Also, for those of you who are curious, I do also stream on Twitch. Um, I stream on Twitch and YouTube at the exact same time. So if you have a preference of where to watch, whatever you're more comfortable with, you're more than welcome to hop there. Um, either is good. Mm -hmm. It was Jelly World. Okay, that might be Jelly World. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Captain Thunderbolt, thank you for the super! 
You've been buying from Playasia on and off since the PS3 era. You never thought the CEO would turn out to be a cute anime girl. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but only the cutest anime girl. Steal yourself. Which is mid. <laughs> I agree with you though, Cyanosteg. Unpopular opinion, but I fucking hate Twitch. I just don't like the Twitch, I never did. <laughs> I think it's good to stream on Twitch no to expand food. your audience because that's always a good thing. And a lot of my friends are on Twitch, so that makes me really happy that I can raid them and share the love with them, but I just hate Twitch. <laughs> Not a single enemy shall pass through our storm. Cyclone our dragon into me! Yeah, Twitch is stinky, right, exactly. Stay close to me. I feel like it's not quite true. Maybe it's not so controversial. Everyone seems to hate Twitch. <sighs> also, the guy with the spear and the eye patch, he looks a lot like Dimitri. That's true, though. So I also have problems with Susan. So YouTube also sucks. <laughs> I just don't like Twitch because it doesn't work very well on my computer. Hi, Days Matter! I like YouTube because it runs very smooth on my computer, but Twitch is always like, I don't feel like working today. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I just cry, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Joshua Doc. Yeah, exactly. The Twitch interface. I don't know why everyone loves it so much. I hate it. I hate the Twitch interface. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. I think I'm... Mm. Everyone has their own. Yeah, everyone has their own. Okay. Mm. Yeah! Dead. Can't find new people on Twitch. 30 um people ads make you want to hop into a stream. I know, I hate the ads. I can't imagine playing runs. I just find um, the problem with Twitch. Also, Black Metal, hello. The problem with Twitch for me is mostly that it doesn't run. But in addition to not running very well, it's just annoying. Ooh, I like the look of this one. My I'm testing out. Whoa, that was cool. Yeah, I did stream on Facebook a bit. <laughs> I'm actually wondering if I should go back to that, to be honest. Watch me now. Not that Facebook is like objectively the best streaming service, it's just, you know, the more things you're on. <laughs> the more things you're on, sometimes the better it is. So sometimes I wonder if it would be good. Facebook misses you. I don't miss Facebook. <laughs> Facebook gaming actually had a lot of potential for a while, though. The reason is there was no competition. Yeah, Facebook has streaming. They even have now a whole gaming begins. program. Mm -hmm. I thought for a while that it might actually have a lot of potential. It's all in the chamber, hello. Hmm, you don't like mandatory pre-roll ads on every single channel? No! <laughs> no, I don't! Especially when the site barely loads. It just makes it that much more painful. Ooh, I like this one. Piercing thrust! I thrust my way right into the my samurai. Hi, Wade! There, yeah, that's true. That's why I thought it would be really cool to stream on Facebook. Because there's not very many VTubers on Facebook. So I was like, hey, yo, I can be that one VTuber on Facebook. <laughs> but I didn't get a lot of views. Um, and then I started using a different program where streaming on Facebook in addition was causing my streams to kind of get fucked up, so I decided to ditch it. But now I went to a new program, which would have no problem also streaming to Facebook, so I'm you thinking about going back to it. I just haven't decided yet, I don't know. <laughs> That's true, though! I have Facebook colors! Oh my god, my colors are Facebook colors! <laughs> Maybe I could pretend to also be the CEO of Facebook. I think I'd make a better CEO of Facebook, just saying. After all the meta bullshit, I think I could do better. What do you guys think? <laughs> I can... My promise. If you elect me to be the new CEO of Facebook, I promise that I'll ban every account that doesn't have an anime girl avatar. Instead of the accounts with them, I'll ban every account without. Uh-huh. Exactly, I'd be better than Zuck. <gasps> hey, watch this! And Holy Stars, thank you for subscribing! Wait, Sue, wait. Oh, no. One, there's no need for further bloodshed. And Dini, thank you for subscribing. Hikari. Oh, that's true, Mouse. They have to be Pam avatars. They have to be my face. They can't just be any anime girl. They have to be my face. <laughs> Even better. Ah, mm -hmm. here we are. You want to see me in charge of Facebook? Now, me too. I kind of want to see myself it's in charge of general. Facebook. <laughs> now to prove your metal, Hikari. Mm hmm. Also, Dragon Man, hello! K-Subs! Thank you so much! Why is my... Why? I hope... I'm so sorry you missed most of my C-Bat alert because I had it muted by mistake. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much! Thank you for the gifted members. Everyone who was able to get a gifted membership, I hope you have a great time. If any are still available, make sure you enable them in chat to see if you can grab one for yourself. Let me see, who just got one that I can welcome in? 
I'm just trying to scroll, but it's like being weird and not letting me scroll. Hold on. Welcome James Jackson and Jilla Shot and Dusky and Rice Go and Don Denji San and Hacks and Beetle Taxis and Sarah Nerod and Justin Curry and Zed Liquid and Drake Laser and Fro Fro and Dory Boshi Ariel and Yamata no Oroshkinen and Raiden and Cameron Cooper, Akinsu, Dilting Chance, McLandon Bidoof and Garden Snake. Welcome to membership, guys. Woohoo! Also, can I have a Hello, your name makes me laugh because I just imagine some big, huge Lapras being like, Brrrr, and like charging at me from the middle. <laughs> oh, God, took the middle of the ocean. The memory of my fallen allies. <laughs> my blade will not I've waver. never seen a Lapras in a game since Pokemon have been in the overworld, but I feel like encountering a Lapras would be quite terrifying now. <laughs> you do go, Brrrr, nice. <laughs> Sorry, where's Andrew Music? Mm -mm -mm. Now you pay the price for your tyranny, bastards of Koo. Okay, I feel like there's something about the Koo Kingdom that we're not aware of. They, pro they genuinely seem to think we're like the worst people Come. ever. So there's got to be some political bullshit going on here that's making everything more complicated. Just like our daddy had a collar on our oh, neck and was trying to get all his children to murder. Oh God, he's huge! <laughs> not again! Why is he so huge? I guess he's on a horse, but I still don't think I am. The size of the horse's foot this time. What the fuck? <laughs> this seems weird to me. Hmm. Ooh, awful sweep. Black sweep. Yeah. Octopaths just be that way. Hi, cats. That's how the game works. I know, but I'm dumb. <laughs> Let me be the giant now one. Why does everyone else get to be giant? <laughs> no one's broken right now, right? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I see some people are big to these, so let's go with that. Huh. Yeah. It's my turn. Mm. Uh. Let's hope you're also weak to swords. <sighs> yeah, the signs are not proportional, man. <laughs> mm. You've been debating getting Octopath. This is the new demo for the second one. It just dropped today. The game's coming out later this month. So hopefully the stream will help you figure out if you want it or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine if near the end you get some ring that makes you giant. Oh, fuck yes. I want to join the giants. Was oh, that a girl? It's female, Dimitri? Oh, nice. Here I come. Game is significantly different than you thought it would be based on the title. I did another route that felt very different a while ago. This one feels very different because it's kind of like in a desert and stuff. The one we did earlier was a lot more like, um, a lot more city. The, the one we did last time, we fucking snuck into a brothel. It was wild. This one is very, very, very normal in comparison. I've got you. Mm -hmm. It's my turn. Oh, sword is good, sword is good. Perfect. Do I have any skills for sword? The wild cut. Ah, this looks good. I'll cut you down. No yeah, baby! Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, they don't have any anything good. Um, single fall. Let's use this My one. Spear strike I like how her spear looks like it's also an axe. It's my turn. Uh, all right, super power him up! Liam! Oh, she's not dead? Oh, she's not dead! I'm going to bed now, good night, Bongola! My turn. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Okay, this time to do it. Gotta kill the horse. Yeah! If the horse survived that, I would have been pissed. Let's go! And now we can finally get a bit more of the story. It's over. Mm hmm No. We won't. We won't leave the desert in your clutches. The accursed clan must be. Accursed. Okay, so it does sound like we did something really horrible to these people, and that's why they're trying to get rid of us. That's probably something I don't know about, too. Mm. 
Because I, I know I'm royalty in the game, but it sounds like I'm kind of the, like, the reject prince where no one wants to interact with me. Pyroka, thank you for subscribing. Um, been craving a turn-based RPG, so you picked up Final Fantasy VII since you never played any of them growing up. Yeah, I really like retro RPGs, picking them up recently, too. Mm. The Sparrow Prince? Oh, wait, well. Oh, no, that's an ally horse. We're good. Brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was his brother? Soft hearted whelp. You can't just murder people, brother. Show sympathy to the enemy, and you tarnish the name Ku in the process. Or, you know, maybe I make us have a better reputation because clearly people don't like us that much. The enemy general <laughs> is slain. Victory is ours. He was in his park. Okay, that's, that's I guess, the reason to kill someone. If you're in their parking spot, maybe. Depending on what it's for. <laughs> Depending. If they, if, they park, if they park, like, I don't know. If they park their ass in it, I'll just honk at them until they stand up and leave. Your majesty. But if they park their car in it, I'm going to take my keys to the car. Well, not actually, because then I'll get arrested. I'll mentally do it, though. <laughs> hmm. Today's glory was paid for with the blood of many. I'm starting to think that my country is a bunch of tyrants. Remember, Chip, thank you for subscribing. Is ever an occasion for celebration, Mugen Hikari. Hmm. I'll see you in the Thank you for subscribing. Our enemies have been put to heal. Their forces and a shit posting. I love shit posting. <laughs> the nation of Ku shall know prosperity. Okay, uh, they're doing this for the sake of prosperity. My feelings of their. I think we're the baddies. No, not so. I think we're the baddies. <laughs> I think we are. I'm getting a bad feeling. <laughs> I'm a shout out loud. The nation of Kum would probably be the battle I did the last time. Your Majesty. It, it literally just felt like the assassins killed with like having a fucking orgy. Alex TK, thank you for subscribing. It does just get the vibes. It's giving me J. It's giving me Fire Nation vibes. We are the Fire Nation. This is when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> for us, and I make sleepy. Thank you for the follow and subscribe. I'll see Ash, hello. Brother, what was the enemy general speaking of? He called us the accursed clan. Yeah, I'm also wondering this question. Please explain. <laughs> Is it true? Are we? He's just Zuko. He has the ponytail and everything. That's before he had his existential crisis and shaved most of his head. Instead of trying to get our dad to accept us, we're trying to get our brother to accept us. <sighs> Put it out of your mind. A half blood like you needn't worry about such things. That's why I'm not told anything. He doesn't consider me a true prince. Because I'm like only a half blood. That's so disgusting. That's a bunch of shit. You hear it too? <laughs> that voice? Hmm. General Mugen, go with glory. It was your sword that cut the path to victory. Yeah, after I thought maybe we could just not kill the dude, you know? You fought fiercely this day. What is your name? It's Ritsu Mishuyo, my lord. I can't ask me. No, 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 please do not have my brother kill my bestie. I called that my bestie was gonna die during the demo. Don't you fucking dare have my brother kill my bestie. Oh shit. Hi, Angry Mokyo! I have a very bad feeling. Compassion has no place in Ku Hikari. You are unfit to stand among us. Okay, maybe he just fired him. Maybe, maybe, maybe no murder. Erlen Kazin, thank you for subscribing. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Whew! Cut! You missed an entire Amogus chapter! <laughs> The entire elder demo that we did when we played as the thief, she it was entirely found, among us. We had to figure out the traitor, but the then with the plot you. twist, there was no traitor. We were bamboozled into thinking there was a traitor, but there wasn't a traitor. It was an elaborate plot to get us to all kill ourselves. <laughs> it's complicated. 
What's that, Del Marnum? Name is dope you just pre-ordered. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it when you get it. Mm -hmm. You don't need to flatter me. I didn't do it alone. You're watching the direct? What are you most excited you about, cats? Mm. And not once have I also, yeah, have a good sleep, Shorty. Back. I hope your PC building went well. You may be the prince. Le I'm yeah! I'm so excited strength, about Layton. Even though I haven't finished all the old Layton's. I'm so like happy me. there's I'll gonna finally, gonna finally be a Layton on Switch be because now I can presence. play Layton on stream and solve puzzles and you guys can see that I have a big brain and I'm not stupid! <laughs> Because everyone thinks I'm stupid. I have an IQ of 144, so shut up. Only the biggest brain can be a CEO VTuber, so take that. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Ritsu. You'll always have a place by my side. <laughs> I'm trying not to ship them. <laughs> They're cute. So? And now you I'll play romantic music. And we're even out of dramatic sunset. This is getting very difficult not to ship We live to fight another day, it seems. 420 sounds like a very chill, very the chill was long um, and IQ. I feel like at that Let's point, you'd be so relaxed, you just know everything instantly. It's like you're always meditating. <laughs> you may leave less than memories alone. 144 is high. It's high. It's really high. Mm -hmm. I'm smart. I did the IQ test on stream as well. I think I might have got 141 when I did it on stream, but I got 141 when I did one off stream, so. Or 144 off stream. Everyone thinks I'm dumb, but I'm genius. I have the biggest, biggest brain. Mm -hmm. It was an honor to have you with me, Raime. Boss, no shipping, lives are on the line, but listen, I just wanted to have some romance before I die, okay? <laughs> My life's on the line too, isn't aren't my desires important? Mm. Also, I board clips. 127 is still really good though. House May is the spear of Ku. We are to be wielded against its enemies. Mm. Oh. May I be welcomed among this vaunted company? He is the Uncle Iro equivalent. He seems chill. Of course, Kazan. Without your cunning strategy, we may have very well been buried under the sands. Victory is the sweetest libation. Oh, so hi, Riggs, welcome! Yeah, the clouds the are beautiful, the aren't they? Shall be sweet Honestly, I've been spending half the stream just admiring the lighting effects in the game. It's fucking gorgeous! We can't toast also, he's sounding like Sakura. Or not Sakura, Scarlet! I always think her name is Sakura. Scarlet from Nike. He's like, ah, oh, yes, fine libation under the moon. <laughs> also, Doodle Bart and Zero Family, hello. How do you even find out your IQ? You do an IQ test. There's lots of them online, but it takes forever to find one that you can actually do because they all say free, but then to get your results, you have to pay, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so it takes forever to find one where you don't have to pay or sign up for a newsletter. It's so annoying. There are some where you don't have to. It just takes a lot of looking. Hmm. The road ahead will be long. Christophe, Drinks will have to wait. If you insist, my prince, I see war has only tempered your commitment to duty. Mm -hmm. Still, promise me that when our conflicts are behind us, we'll raise glasses in celebration. Yeah! Consider it done. Did you get a Q test when you were a kid? Yeah, I would redo it. I would redo it. You never know. Some people get smarter as they get older, and some people get stupider because kids are very imaginative and thinking of answers of things, and then you realize that you're not as smart as you once were when you were a kid genius, and you feel very dumb. And you wish you could be a genius again. Not a real experience. They never had a chance to fulfill that promise. As the nation of Ku, after claiming victory in their last battle, declared an indefinite end to hostility. No more war! Okay, okay! Crossover Maniac, thank you for the oh, super! Yeah, could be worse, you could money. work for the Imperium of Man from Warhammer 40k! Oh, jeez! <laughs> the fires of Warfare that once raged were reduced to embers. 
and former comrades in arms such as Kazan and Raime went their separate ways far from the deserts of Ku. Three years have passed since that proclamation. Woo! We beat the whole game. All he wanted was no war. I feel like it's not gonna go that smooth. We're about to have another war. <laughs> Probably brother's fault. He seems like a shithead. He's gonna start another war. <laughs> Most adults get done because they get comfortable and stop challenging themselves. I agree! Dang, laddie, I think that's it. I genuinely think that's it. People don't put as much effort into learning anymore. <laughs> learning is so important. Mm. Also, the music, the flute here is so beautiful. We keep forgetting how important it is to learn. And if you don't like school, that's fine. There's other ways to learn. You can go on the internet, look up some new information, find a hobby, learn about your hobby, learn about games you're interested in. It's just challenging your brain to learn new things. Those new things don't have to be math or science. They can be anything. The important thing is just keeping your brain active and challenging yourself and learning. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think that's what that instrument's called, yeah? Mm. Traditional strings make me so happy. Mm. It's not being graded on it and we forget it and never use it again, yeah. I find, that's the funny thing though. School? Okay, how do I explain this? I feel like school is actually a scam to an extent. Because the thing is, when you learn stuff specifically for school, also hello Hope, you don't actually learn. At least I didn't. I was the type of person, I graduated one of the, uh, in the top five at my school. And the thing is, oh Shadow Serpent, thank you for subscribing. I did that, it does sound like Liyue. Eh? Um, I did that by not learning how to learn. I did that by learning how to get perfect scores on tests. And that sounds like the same thing, but it's not the same thing because I got really, I got really good at memorizing the answers the night before in a way that I'd remember them just long enough to get perfect scores on tests. But then a week later, I wouldn't remember or understand anything because I never actually bothered to learn because I learned that I would figure out how to get good grades on tests. And because I knew I could ace all my subjects with putting minimal effort, I didn't actually put in the time to learn things properly or like stabilize it in my memory. Also, I was like, well, yeah, you learned to say what the teacher would want you to say. And it's twice as well, exactly. I learned how to be a very good student by figuring out how to basically pretend I knew everything even though I didn't. I memorized it temporarily and know what the teacher wanted me to say. But then when it came to putting that like applied stuff to use, another year or whatever, I wouldn't remember anything because I cheated my way through, essentially. So school doesn't help people learn. School teaches people how to get good grades. That's my opinion. And that's why people who don't get good grades, sometimes because they put in so much effort, even if their grades are lower, they're actually objectively way smarter. And they learn way more because putting in all that effort helps solidify what they know long-term into their memory. Either that or like, if I wanted to focus on learning things, my grades I found were actually worse. Because when I put the time in to learn something properly, I'd have to sacrifice other things in the curriculum. I didn't have everything memorized in order to truly learn some things. But by memorizing everything on a surface level, I could get the perfect grades. So it's tricky. It's, it's, it's tricky. Does it apply to college as well? I think it depends. I'll say yes away. It kind of depends if that, like, what's your approach. If your approach to college or high school is I want the highest grades. I was in a situation where, you know, I really wanted to get the best grades. So that was my priority and I did it. But it depends if your priority is learning. If your priority is learning, you can take a whole different approach and you can learn a lot and actually remember it. I'll say the rank get low. But if you, if you are focused on getting the highest grade to maintain a scholarship or so that you can have the best in the program, you're probably not going to learn as efficiently. It's just the way it often goes. And not everyone. Of course, there's going to be people who do learn and get perfect grades because like they're genius or whatever. But 
It's it's just a weird situation. I feel like school's so imperfect because of that. Hmm. And it's really frustrating, you know? Hmm. And I agree, Mega Monster. We need to learn how to balance a checkbook and pay our taxes. The reality is, I don't need, I don't need, like, Pythagorean theorem. I don't know how to say it now. I took, I took math in French, okay? I was saying Pythagore. I don't know how to pronounce it because my French accent is shit, but I did go to school in French to an extent, so I just like Pythagore, and I'm like, what is it in English? Pythagore something. I, I don't need that shit, but I do need to know how to do taxes, so what the fuck? Especially at my school. At my school. The thing is, the thing is at my school, that's what the essential math was. Oh my god. So the typical like quote unquote smart people all took like advanced math and calculus. And then the people who were quote not as smart would take essential math. And you know what they would learn instead of calculus? How to do their taxes. You know what the people who took calculus never learned how to do their taxes? What the fuck? I feel like everyone should learn to do their taxes. So really, after I graduated, I was kind of like, huh. I really didn't need those advanced math courses. I should have taken how to do my fucking taxes. <laughs> and I just think it's so backwards that that's how it operates. I, I didn't take sunset. calculus though, to be honest. I took advanced math, but then before calculus, I dropped out of math entirely because I had enough credits to graduate without getting more math credits. And I was like, wait a second. My math scores are slightly lower than my other classes. Hi, Helix. So in order to get the best overall GPA, I stopped taking math entirely, even though I liked it. <laughs> I literally based what courses I took on what I, what I was gonna get the highest score in, regardless of if I liked it. That's how bullshit my school strategy was. <laughs> I was like, yeah, here. I think I graduated with like a 97% average or something though, so it was pretty good, but like, I sacrificed a lot of stuff I was interested in and that I enjoyed just because I wanted to get the highest and that was, in retrospect, stupid, but at the time I thought I was brilliant. <laughs> As we heard, many thank you for subscribing. I'd be glad to. It's a sign that peace yet prevails. Then what are you doing being a VTuber? What, what do you mean? Isn't that the ultimate way to live? I'm living the life. If I have the biggest brain, I can live any life I want. Why would I not choose this fucking life? <laughs> I'm in Max. I did. I am in Max. Video game that. habits <laughs> kicking in, I wonder. Lord Hikari, think you could teach me how to swing a sword like you do? If you wish. That may be merely a piece of wood, but don't think you'll have any mercy. So we're gonna kill him with a wooden sword. Sounds great. I'm ready. Let's just die. Hmm. <laughs> That's true. It could be just a teenage like brain priority over um, short-term um, gain over long-term gain. Um, true, I, I did go to a public school. I actually had some people trying to convince me to go to like a private school and get some better stuff, and I was like, nah. <laughs> I was like, nah. I probably would have had the brains for it, to be honest, but I just wanted to chill with my friends at school more than anything. Yeah. I had a bunch of weeb friends. I just wanted to fangirl over shit at lunch. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna prioritize becoming smart. I wanted to prioritize fangirling over shit at lunchtime. <laughs> huh? Your stance isn't bad. Now bring in your arms. <sighs> we get panting, nice. If he challenged you, it's therefore not your fault if heads go flying, correctly. His fault for challenging me. This, my lord. Were you seen teaching I will actually agree to an extent, Mal. Street smarts are very important. People underestimate them a lot. Because that's the thing, once you get out of school, you're like a million percent A++ GPA isn't gonna do anything to get you anywhere in life. 
getting life skills is way more important than getting high scores in school. You just don't know it when you're in school because there's such a heavy emphasis on get the highest grades, but then you graduate and you're immediately like, oh God, my school experience means nothing. <laughs> this manner of folk, they're my friends. That was exactly my situation too, Mega Monster. I didn't care enough to like look into going somewhere to do AP classes. I wanted to enjoy my childhood, you know? They're not your friends, my prince. They're lowborns who scavenge for rotten food. They're a stain on our nation. I can have whatever friends I want. Can you stop insulting my friends and maybe consider that they're people? That's true, though. You do need good grades to be a doctor or a lawyer. Um, in some situations, you have to. Um, if you need to get into, like, a school or the scholarship or things like that. But even then, the approach on making it grades-focused is frustrating. Because, you know, um, sometimes it affects your whole GPA, right? You could be really, really good in the skills needed to be a doctor or a lawyer. But you could, like, for a lawyer, for example, you could be incredibly talented, but then you fail all your math classes, and suddenly your overall GPA is so low you can't get into law school. And I think that is absolute bullshit. Are citizens of you took the most AP classes yourself. out of your high school you ever and you graduated top 11? Nice! I don't think my school actually had AP. There's like an advanced math, but it wasn't like AP math. It was more like just slightly advanced math, but it wasn't technically an AP class. We didn't have any technically AP. Mm -hmm. So I would have had to go elsewhere and I was like, nah. Hi, Visceral! Are you enjoying the Octopath Traveler 2 demo so far? I am! I... Apologies. I actually really enjoyed math as a teen, too, Corvus. I loved math. I was in the math league team. <laughs> like, you guys see, you guys know, like, on TV shows and stuff, sometimes you see people um, who join, like, teams who do competitive math. I was... I to talk back to our Lord. <sighs> I never went to any tournaments um, because we didn't have a big enough team because no one wanted to join the team. It was just me and a couple friends who liked math. <laughs> Aside for good myth. Yeah, Octopus Traveler 2. The demo just dropped today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Hikari. A teacher told you you're too dumb for a mouse. Listen, uh, what am I? What am I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello! For those of you who don't know, I'm Obaki Pam, CEO of PlayAsia. We stream on YouTube and on Twitch. Um, you can put exclamation point chat um, in chat, and it'll pull up a thing where you can see chat on both platforms if you have a preference, if you want to be able to read both. Um, right now we're playing the demo for Octopath Traveler 2, which was just released today. Let me give Yuna a shout out real quick. Also, I, I warned earlier as well, I usually offer a song as a request. If you want one as a thanks for the raid, I will still put my list. Um, but my throat's a little bit scratchy. It's gotten a little bit better now, so I might be able to do a TV size if you really want anything. <laughs> um, otherwise though, let me give one of your clips real quick. Hold on. This is Yuna! Oh, ah, that's a cute cat! Poppin' pussy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful clip to get out of context. I mean, technically, this is a pussy. That is technically a poppin' pussy. That is, that is not wrong. <laughs> the clip froze, so I'm gonna hide it real quick. But, and Poppin', oh, his name is Poppin'. Uh-huh. Oh, it's, why is it freezing? I'm gonna have to hide it because it's freezing. I'm so sorry, but that is Yuna. Make sure to go subscribe and show Yuna some love, yeah? Thanks so much for thinking of me. And Barry, thank you for subscribing. Huh. We're playing the warrior path in the demo for Octopath 2. And it's been really relaxing so far. Mm. It's been nice and chill. Don't worry about it. All good, all good. I just like to offer. Because, you know... That's the least I can do as a thank you when I get a raid, because it just makes me happy when people think of me. Mm -hmm. Also, oh my god, thank you for the follow! We're gonna go back to the game for now, though, okay? Mm -hmm. You're expelled from high school for dark riding? I should have been expelled! Like I told you I was on stream before. That's a great note, thank you for the follow! On my tests and stuff, I got really into Higurashi, right? 
So I'd always draw people being like decapitated. After this, thank you for the follow, or like bleeding out, or stabbed, or like recreate scenes from Higurashi on like the back of all my tests because I was smart and finished really early. And none of the teachers ever said anything. I don't know how I didn't get suspended. Oh, yeah, the third petition. Thank you for the follow. All citizens of our nation deserve equal Yeah! Everyone deserves equal respect. You tell them, Hikari! The Lord Hikari. Hmm. What is it, Suki? Yeah, to be honest, I'm really surprised that it wasn't warning sign enough that anyone reported me, but... That's fine, I just went through my dark anime enjoying phase. I was really into horror, so I'd draw it on everything. Uh, oh, that's true, they might have been too worried I would be inspiration. I never harm a fly! I literally don't even harm bugs. I feel too guilty. I trap them in cups and take them outside. Huh. Um, um. Your first assignment in AP English, you literally tried your hardest to concern your teacher and you got you can talk to me if you're having troubles. Oh god. Oh, I wrote bootleg Higurashi stories and stuff too for English assignments. Like I'm pretty sure I wrote a story once. Um I really enjoyed the portrait of the petite corset. So, I think in that one he painted the girl with with his own blood. I kind of watched the trailer and wrote my own bootleg version of it. I'll thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Um before I actually watched it. In my version, I had a painter that had, like, I hired to paint someone, and he couldn't get over how pretty they were and that none of the colors were Still, right. So, in the over. end, he started losing his mind because for some reason my brain decided that there was gonna be mercury in the paint that he was using. <laughs> and because there was mercury in the paint he was using, he was slowly losing his mind. And then he decided that to make the prettiest red ever to paint her hair, he was going to kill her and mix her blood in with the paint to make her immortal. And I handed that into my teacher. <laughs> and my teacher was like, that's imaginative. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> oh, the song's so pretty. It reminds me of something specific, but I can't place what it is. Hmm. That horse neigh startled me. That's true though, horses are very gentle animals. They're very sweet. You wrote about being a giraffe! Cats, I wish I wish I was I wish I was as carefree and innocent as your brain. <laughs> Get an Eldritch horror face! Oh, that sounds interesting. Maybe that's why I graduated so high. They gave me high marks just so I'd spare them. I would have spared them anyway, but I appreciate the high marks. Oh, I can sleep here. Interesting. This actually isn't a horror game. This is just a JRPG. It's very chill, if anything. Well, actually, some, some horror elements happened last time. There's some weird shit. <laughs> but I wouldn't call it a horror game. It's more on the relaxing end. Mm-hmm. There's something very specific that this song is reminding me of, and I wish I knew what it was. <gasps> I can go on the canoe! I can yes! I love summoning canoe at my feet. I wish I could do that IRL. Walk into a lake? Don't worry, you summon a canoe instantly. Every time. Oh, I guess I can't use the canoe right now, though. <laughs> oh, the story. Wait, is there a horror game like that? Interesting. That's cool if someone came up with a similar plot. It's not the most original plot. <laughs> If someone came up with something similar, I'd love to play it. Hmm. What should I make for dinner? That's a mood, me every day. <laughs> Before I get lazy and make the same thing every day. God damn it. Mm -mm -mm. One with art. Is that the new painting one that's coming to Switch soon, maybe? It's like an old JRP, or not JRPG, is that like an old RPG maker thing? Hmm. I wonder if they were inspired by the same anime that I was? I wonder. Mm -mm. Watching the Addams Family! Yeah! I was into a lot of dark stuff growing up as well. That's why 
Um, that's probably why I ended up... Also, I was trying to think of a solo. That's why I ended up in quite a few, um, weird things. My interests are very dark my whole life. I've just always le leaned towards dark things. I don't know why. It's just always been my preference. Oh. Oh, there we go. It might be something to do with when I was, like, two or three. My very first Disney movie was The Black Cauldron. I loved it. <laughs> Loved it! Have any of you guys seen The Black Cauldron? In my opinion, it's one of Disney's most underrated movies. It's pretty fucked up, though. Wait, was that was Bendy in the Ink Machine similar? Ooh. A lot of people have suggested Bendy to me. Maybe I'll have to prioritize. You love it, Daddy Ling! Or da Daddy Ling! What did I say? That dang laddie! My brain is getting scrambled. <laughs> I've been streaming over ten hours today. No, no, it hasn't been. It's been almost seven hours today. <laughs> Also, for a guy, hello, welcome. Black Cauldron was amazing, yeah. Let's see, Zero, hello. Listen, I love retro movies. I still haven't seen a lot of them. What was the one? What was it that I saw recently for the first time? There was something. I'm really into retro video games and movies, so I'll go out of my way to find older stuff instead of new stuff. <laughs> so, oh yeah, Full Moon was a ghost. It was an anime that I just started watching last year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I remember I brought it up on a stream and someone's like, oh my god, I grew up with that too. And I was like, ha ha, yeah, grew up with, <laughs> I started it like last year. <laughs> ah, here we go. This must be where the brawl was. Do you know who I am? I haven't I'm actually read any Edgar Allan Poe directly Lord though. Mugen I've seen a lot of stuff inspired by him. I really need to like get into actually reading his stuff, the originals. Hmm. Nah, the whole RPG looks like a paper craft set, so I'm enjoying it. Hmm. One other movie that I found a couple years ago that was similar. Well, I think I saw it a long time ago, but then I found a copy um, more recently that was similar. If you like The Black Cauldron, you might enjoy. Um, is The Thief and the Cobbler. It has similar, like, weird dark animation. And Little Nemo, I'm still trying to find some of them. Like, the Brave Little Toaster and the Lost Unicorn, those are some of the retro dark shit that I haven't been able to find yet. I've never actually watched those ones. I'm trying to, like, watch all of the, like, 80s, 90s, um, really weird children's movies. <laughs> I have some that I haven't been able to track down yet, though. So I want to find them. Also, Brick, I think you're subscribing. I haven't watched Ralph Baxi's Wizards. Is it good? Is that another, like, that type of movie? If it is, I need to find it. I love that shit. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I can challenge townspeople to a duel, and then I can get them to stop the fighting. Oh, shit. I can't go back to the town, I guess, for now. Press 70s Dark Fantasy. Ooh. I'm going to write it down. Thanks for the suggestion. Two wizards. Okay. I got to look it up. Thank you. <laughs> I love that type of shit. Oh, yeah, and Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Labyrinth is another, like, weird, darkish kind of fucky, but not super fucky movie. I only saw it for the first time this year, actually, with members. Hmm. I really like dark fantasy, but, like, kid-friendly, because there's so much more imagination that goes into kid-friendly horror, because they can't just rely on gore or shock value. So they have to be creative with it. Hmm. Labyrinth was weird, yeah. I haven't seen Cool World. Is all in good, too? Is he 14? I'll see you, Mouse. If it's a brawl you want, I'll The first time you got home. high, you watched that first? Not gonna lie, I wish I would've watched it high. I feel like it would've been more entertaining. Not, not more, it was still entertaining, but I feel like it would've been even more of a trip. <laughs> You've drawn your sword. Now be prepared for the consequences. On your guard. Let's go! Here I come. I think it's drawn in, I feel like. I feel like if you were high, you'd probably think you were like in the movie actually living there. <laughs> now it begins. Okay. Yes. Here I come. It's over. Shit, I feel like Bob doesn't kill him. Now it begins. The battle scene is so different than each room. This battle theme has a lot of trumpet and it's very intense. The thief battle theme is a lot different, I think. I also just remember wrong. Did they literally make an entire new OST for each character? 
Yeah, the battle theme sound a bit different. Oh, I can learn new skills by winning the challenges. Hmm. Just like how I learned new skills by um stealing last time. That's our lord. Yeah, baby. Apologies for the mess. Drink in peace. It's like, okay, get back to being drunk, guys. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Lord Hikari, thank you. Thank you, Sirion, for subscribing! You needn't thank me. It is my duty. Mm. We're blessed that you were appointed to watch over our town. Suki's voice sounds slightly weird to me. Almost like she's like, I don't know. Almost like she's slightly out of it. She sounds very, like, monotone, which normally wouldn't be a bad thing, but combined with the other characters sounds kind of weird. Chainsaw Goddess, thank you for the follow. There's been more smiles all around ever since. Yeah, exactly, Catch! That's what I was wondering. She sounds kind of brainwashed. It's been too long. <laughs> Yeah, she sounds like a teacher asking to read from a book, and you're like, the cat jumped over the house, and then the mouse followed the cat. Am I done yet? <laughs> Move on, thank you for the follow. I'm sure it's a lovely actor. It's probably just, like, really weird direction, or they weren't given context for the lines or something, so it came out a bit wrong. Hopefully it, hopefully it gets a little better later on. Ben K. She could Is also just you? be a cooter, though, that's true. I can't remember the last time you visited alone. Mm -hmm. God, I ran out of oatmeal. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, God, did you just hear that stomach growl? Please tell me you didn't. Uh, I might need to take a break soon and get some prince, food, guys. I must ask that you visit me at the Western Keep. I can mm. say no more. All will be explained upon your arrival. Mm -hmm. Very well. I won't be long. Thank you, my prince. I will await you there. I feel kind of like this is a trap and I'm about to be killed. I think I just have severe trust issues after the next, the last one that we did. Ah, uh, yeah, 007 Goldeneye on the Switch. I actually have a physical copy for N64, I think. <laughs> If I ever play it, I'd probably want to play the N64 version. I gotta see if there's anything up here. Oh, that is where I'm supposed to go. The lighting looks a bit darker right now, doesn't it? Is it just me? Or does the lighting look more red? I feel like something very dangerous is about to happen. Why have you left the castle? I would have come if called. This is the only place where we would not be heard. Oh shit, so there is bad things going down. Yeah, it's like evening sun, Hikari, sun color. I have devoted my life to expanding our borders. Many a dawn has been stained crimson by my ambition. He's regretting it? Now at the end of, of that murder? path. I realize that it has all led to nothing. Hikari, I would ask you, what do you want for our nation? Just to like relax. Friends. <laughs> and no more murder. Yeah! Um, we can all be friends and allies and peace. Are we still the bad guys? Friends that will I don't think the king is. I think my brother allies is the bad guy, the for sure. Mmm. With that, we could realize a world without conflict, mm. without bloodshed. I charged you with overseeing the city. So that I could take your measure, Hikari. And I do not find you lacking in the least. Aww, that's so sweet. This is a death leg. My Community. dad's about to be killed. 
King Jigo can't have much longer after taking that attitude. He's gonna fucking die. Ikari, I want you to be the next king of Ku. And obviously a spy of my brother's is listening and I'm about to be fucking killed. Your Majesty, are you? Yeah, how does Mookin? What does Mookin think of this? My brother, he... He is consumed by the same ambition that led me mm. astray. He would see the world kneel before him. Mm. Which only goes good for so long, because then you make a lot of enemies that way. There is a plot stirring among his troops. Maybe he'll be the good guy so we kill we must act with haste. Wait, is this a repeat situation of last time? Is my dad just trying to trick me into killing my brother while telling my brother to kill me? Is this another succession challenge? I shall make the proper arrangements and do what I can to keep Mugen's machinations at bay. <laughs> well... Why... why so many sneeze? <laughs> no! Please consider what is at stake, Hikari. Father. I hope it ain't a trick this time, otherwise we should have gone cat girl for variety. <laughs> I too hope that you will take up the mantle of king, Lord Hikari. Mm. Also, I have a question. Uh... I changed the chat a little bit. Um, so that the font, I think, is a little easier to read than the one that I used to use, but it is a little bigger, so it shows less people at once. Do you guys like the new font? Does it look clean to you guys? I like it better. I'm just curious what you guys think. Chat's main, having it on the screen is mainly for you guys, not for me. <laughs> I can see it elsewhere. Let's get him on! It does make it more readable. I'm glad, I'm glad. Father spoke of a plot among Mugen's troops. What is he planning? I need to get to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. Someone in the city must know something. Secrets have a way of revealing themselves. Yeah, I did try to maximize contrast. That makes me happy if you're able to read it. Because especially where chat's so small, I think contrast is very important. Oh, wait, I have to duel him to get the information, right? Wait, can I not duel him? Oh, he's a shopkeeper, whoops. I should probably buy a better sword or something, huh? Because I can't steal shit this time. I guess we don't get a shield now. <gasps> Man, I miss stealing! Stealing was really convenient. I'll see you guys tonight. Have a good sleep. I like how the doors are just open full of light. Is this like an, there's no one in there? Where are all the lights on? <laughs> oh shit, there's people. I don't think it's a normal one though. Because of the skill, I feel like what I need more than anything is to find someone that I can duel and steal information from. Oh wait. No, I can't do that with anyone. It has to be one with the, like, fight icon above them, yeah? Hmm. Otherwise, it would be too many people that you could potentially duel.
<laughs> the night theme is so relaxing. It almost remind ah is that blue? No, it almost reminds me of um of like um some of the night themes in Breath of the Wild because of the relaxing piano. <laughs> I'll see you, Corvus. No country for the old man. What? <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. For a second, I thought it said for cold, and I was like, what's wrong? What's wrong with being cold? Nothing wrong with being old either, but I was just so confused. <gasps> Might have to go relieve. Dude, what the fuck? Does being cold make people have to pee? I've never had to pee because I was cold before. <laughs> Is that a thing people do? Mm -mm. I think I have to go to the new part of the city that opened up. It does make people interesting. I've been outside in some pretty cold temperatures, but I never, I never knew that. To be fair, I always use the bathroom before going outside because I'm a genius. Oh my god. The design of that building with this art style is just gorgeous. Just seeing all the little details in the roof is amazing. He might be the one. Hmm. The merchant flourishing in the shadow of the castle. If anyone can tell me what goes on inside its walls... Yeah! Traveling merchants always have really good information Although because they I learn things from all their clients. Come for free. Yeah, the architecture in this game is really, really cool in general. It's Ottoman Empire meets Shogunate almost, especially in this area, because they're trying not to be, like, one very specific place, I think. It's taking inspiration from a lot of countries, not just Japan. Hmm... Breathtaking. It's just gorgeous, you know? I'm just looking for treasure first. Hold on. <laughs> I want to get free stuff! Oh, I can't go up there. Okay. Can I ring the bell? Aw, oh, that would have been fun. which I find more breathtaking, the visuals or the audio. They combine to make it a truly special experience, though. Bribe! Why bribe people for information? Cool. I'm gonna steal the treasure chest from his house first. I don't think he needs them, right? Is this fine if I steal them? I guess we get in through the back at another point in this game. Oh man, I guess money is really important, not the waste, doesn't it? Imagine if I spent all my money in the shop. I'd be so fucked right now. <laughs> Will this do? Bribe. Castle merchant. Um, a merchant permitted to enter the castle at will. Such access affords him the opportunity to make personal connections. Hmm. I should like to know what's going on at the castle. Have you heard anything during one of your deliveries, perhaps? Ah, the young prince. I believe I can be of service. His voice is very relaxing. It feels like someone who would narrate, like, a children's storybook. However, I'll have you know that it comes at no small risk to my person. That's true. We're putting it in danger. We're really asking a lot here. You'll be fairly compensated. Is this enough? I'll give you money. And then everyone's like, oh, okay, my life's no longer an issue. Give me that cash. 
What people wouldn't do for uh, money, I swear. Our Lord knows <laughs> well the ways of the world. The world revolves around money! I've heard rumors As a rich that CEO, I can vouch. large shipments of weapons have been delivered to the castle as of late. A Sudoku banana? Well, I'm pretty hyped too! I wanted to check it out, but I don't think I'll be able to stream it the day it comes out because things are just a little chaotic, so I'm really happy the demo dropped today. Soldiers get I have some really exciting stuff coming up, though. So you guys are not ready. You guys are not ready. It's not... Nah, I don't even want to give hints. <laughs> I don't even want to give hints. You have to keep an eye out. You'll never guess. You'll absolutely never fucking guess. Emily! Hello! Thank you for the... Oh my god, there's so many reads today. Emily, thank you, thank you, thank you for the read! How was your stream? Let me pull up one of your videos real quick for people who don't know who you are. And as well, if you want a song request, um, it's going to have to be TV sized because my throat's a little bit worn out today because I, I didn't sleep great recently for a lot of days because insomnia is a bitch. <laughs> Let me pull up one of your clips real quick so everyone knows who you are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you for the Nyakamo read. We're playing the new demo for Octopath Traveler 2. It just dropped today. I'm really excited. <laughs> well, okay. Mm. Let me see. Hiragi and Woody. And members only. Introducing my 2D husbandos. Ooh! You'll have to introduce me to them later because I have a I have a company account. I'm not allowed to member anyone. <laughs> I wanna see. I'm gonna show your brain empty short because I watched it a couple days ago and it gave me so maybe not a couple days ago. I think it was yesterday. It gave me so much serotonin. I'm gonna play it. Nintendo Drug, it was hype! Did you watch it too? Mmm, that was good, that was good. I am I am very excited. Okay, let me pull up. I can't remember if I put my song list or not, so I'm dropping it just in case. <laughs> Feel free to ignore it if you don't have any requests, though. Um, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna pull up your your brain empty because it made me very happy. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think this is it. Yeah. Yeah. This is Emily! For those of you who aren't familiar, she's a very cute housewife VTuber! <laughs> this makes me so happy! <laughs> Look how cute she is! <laughs> Just the wiggles with the song made my life. It made my fucking life. <laughs> Make sure you go follow Emudi's channel for more super quality content. <laughs> Thank you for the read. <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad you enjoyed my reaction. I enjoyed your video. It was beautiful. <laughs> we do. We love Emudi. I'm gonna jump back into the story. I'm gonna have to take a break in a little bit to go get some more water and get some more food. I'm getting a bit of a migraine. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry or thirsty, so I just gotta watch out and make sure I'm good, but... <laughs> Thank you everyone who came in with the raid! I hope you're having a lovely evening. We're gonna keep playing. I wanna finish the warrior route in the demo, so we'll try to finish that. Mm -hmm. They say General Mugen Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I didn't introduce myself at all, did I? <laughs> so! I am Obaki Pam, CEO of PlayAsia. I stream lots and lots of different things. And right now I have a promo. I hope you don't mind me shilling a little bit. <laughs> All of the physical orders at PlayAsia for a limited time come with this really cute me Valentine card. But you have to order them through the link in my description. I also have it pinned. If you need to find it through that, um, any orders bought, like anything, you can buy any game or anything and you can get this cute Valentine's card. <laughs> also, Nori Vosario, thank you for four months. Best CEO ever, ever, hands down. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Okay, we go back to the game. <laughs> also, welcome, Nazari! And I'm Nori Bossi, hello in chat! 
You should be sleeping, but you're too invested. It is a really investing storyline. Also, can I tell you well? Have a good night. Mugen may be stoking the embers of war. Kind of figured. <laughs> he kind of was giving those vibes, you know. So father was right. Mm. Then go tell my daddy on him. Daddy, brother's causing myself, problems. Or, if that merchant's words like a dumbass, we could go talk to him face to face and give him the opportunity to slit my throat. That sounds so stupid. <laughs> Where's the quest of heroes? I guess down below? Hmm. Magellan, hello, welcome! <sighs> Yeah, I should save. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good old assassination, though? I mean, I don't love it when it's me being assassinated. Rich up hello! Erina! Oh my god, another one? Holy shit! Erina, thank you for the raid! Hello, how are you doing? I've been lurking on a few of your streams. <laughs> uh -huh. Hold on, let me get one of your clips real quick so everyone knows who you are. As well, I always offer a song request. I have to do TV size today, though, because my throat's a bit tired if you want one. But I always offer as a thank you if you want to hear anything on the list for the raid. And let me pull up one of your shorts. Hold on. I know. So everyone knows who you are. And in the meantime, my name is Obake Pam. I'm CEO of Playasia. I like to stream lots of... Oh, you didn't even voice this? I want to pull this up. I do a lot of voice acting on stream, and I'm always looking for more people to bully into joining me for voice acting streams, so... <laughs> Let me show off your impressions. Hold on. At least partially, because I want to see them myself. <laughs> okay, let's see. Konnichiwa. Okay. Oh my god, you sound exactly like her. Holy shit. <laughs> You're looking at the ribbon, right? That's so accurate. Hello, hello. Very nice to meet everyone. I'm shocked. <laughs> Even the laugh is so accurate. <laughs> okay. The crony copter has landed. You're looking at the ribbon. Oh my god, that was so accurate. Holy shit. <laughs> That's so cool! Yeah, whoa, right? <laughs> Finally can read you. Yeah, I stream at really weird times. <laughs> Thank you so much for thinking of me. I appreciate it. <laughs> that is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like embarrassed. I love bullying people by showing off their content. It's the best feeling. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by and make sure that you go follow Erina in chat as well, yeah? I am going to shill really quick one more time if you don't mind because I'm really excited because I only got to announce it today. <laughs> what? Because I'm CEO of Playasia. I have this limited edition Valentine card merch that is so fucking cute. And it comes with every physical order from Playasia. If you use my link, you have to order it through the link that I have pinned or in the description. You can order anything physical on the website. And if you order it um, in the next little while, it'll come with one of these. And they're so cute. <laughs> All right, we're playing. They're cute, right? Ah! I've been waiting so long to show them off because they're so adorable. Um, for now, we're playing the demo of Octopath Traveler 2 because it dropped today. And I'm really excited about it because the art and the visuals look just beautiful. <laughs> so we're going to keep exploring a little bit. So I think I need to go down lower to find my brother and ask him, Yo, what's up? Why are you trying to murder all my allies? I must. <laughs> also, for Zip Rage, hello, welcome. My turn. Is this a monster? This doesn't look like a person. What the fuck is this? Kill. I guess the game also... Well, I guess it is cat girl, so it makes sense that it would have monsters. Right there's yeah, no I've been really liking all the 2D games recently so. myself too, Outsider. Mm. 
Yeah, but it really does look insanely good, the shocker that we do. Like, the, the visuals are just beautiful. There's not really any other game that's quite comparable to this. It's a very unique experience in terms of both story and visuals. Also, can we appreciate the choir voices in the background? All the... I am a big synth for good vocal music. Like, more often than not, a really pretty song comes on and I start crying. <laughs> I like trying to sing operatic stuff like this. It's a real goal of mine this year. I want to try I want to get better at singing opera. Prepare I really want to be good at opera. Yeah. I can sing really, really high. I broke everyone's ears doing a voice test on stream. What's my highest note? Is it an F6 or something? <laughs> And that was really fun. But everyone in chat, I think, regretted me doing my range test on stream. <laughs> I like to sing high things, even if I'm not good at them yet. I want to get better at them, so I can one day be good at them. Mm -hmm. What's something I can do by memory that doesn't have words? <gasps> you know my zame? My zame? I don't think anyone knows my zame. It's like, we know Lillian! Just sing Liam until we get to a random enemy. Hold on. I need to show off my opera attempt now. Okay. Oh, my throat's too fucky. I can't do opera today. Fuck that. I should have just done um, shadow bringers to show my high notes. We didn't even get to the high notes. <laughs> what is the shadow bringers? Uh, oh, it was an ant. Ew. What is the shadow bringers one selling? I was trying to sing more, but my breath was like <laughs> too much effort right now. God damn it! <laughs> when I don't have the energy to sing, you know it's over. I might as well be dying. Like, oh, grandma, no! Hmm. Fumi, oh, thank you for subscribing. For a second, I thought you were gender bent, Fumi, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> oh, I can go in the water again. Yeah. Opera does it different. I really like it, but I can't do um, actual opera tones. Like, I'm more just singing really high. I want to be able to sing actual opera. But I don't know how to sing, like, um, that particular vocal style. So I want to learn. Stand mm. aside or fight. Two of the things I really want to do, because I'm looking turn. at getting a singing teacher, actually. I really want to learn to sing opera. And I also want to learn to do screamo. I can't do screamo. Here I can right do like now. growl noises, but not a song. Like, I can be like, yeah. but I can't like sing, sing in growls. I don't know how to sound. growl properly. He's been exposed. <laughs> my turn. I fight for my friend. No! There's no need for flattery. It'll rest my soul. I really want to take singing lessons, though. I'm looking seriously into getting a teacher because I've always wanted to try taking singing lessons, but I just kind of always defaulted to, ah, I'll learn myself. And, shit, do I have no healing? Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess we just die. <laughs> That's actually not wrong, though. Opera and Screamo actually are kind of related. The strategies you use are similar, from what I've heard anyway, which is why I'd like to win both. <laughs> mm. That's why I want to get a class to play Strange Teacher. I want to learn from someone who has the experience to really boost me. Because I don't think I, I don't want to go to someone who's going to teach me the basics. Because, like, do you know how to sing ABCs? Yeah, I know my basics. I want to know how to do more complicated stuff. I want someone who's going to help me get there. Because singing more complicated stuff, trying to get there on your own can actually be very dangerous. You don't want to ruin your voice. Also, why not easy? Thank you for subscribing. Also, this is Madalu. 
Don't read me fun, so let's you get that. No! Yeah. Make money when I learned how to do the opera. Spend money to make money. Release my opera EP. Yeah, rolling in cash. <laughs> someday. Opera EP, someday. Imagine a VTuber releases an opera I EP. Your opponent. <laughs> That'd be pretty epic, not gonna lie. Now mm -hmm. it begins. Can I heal now? I need Fox. this. <laughs> it would be pretty sick. I was really impressed the first time I heard Iron Mouse's opera. I was actually, I actually started My crying. Time. It was so good. I literally was sobbing. Her singing voice is just beautiful. Here I come. Playing instruments does help you develop vocally. I actually play instruments on stream sometimes. I play flute. I'm bad at it. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm atrocious, but I enjoy it, and that's what matters. I like to do theme food streams. Like I'll do a stream doing all music learn. from Fire Emblem, or all music from Pokemon. I really enjoy doing themed food streams. I try to do them around once a month, but I don't know if I'll be able to in February just because of time constraints. Mm -hmm. You wanna get ready for opera? Yeah, we can learn opera together! And then we can make we can make an AP like like Sound Horizon. Yo, I would die to make an original song Sound Horizon style. Mm. Do I have to go around? Probably down and over. Mm. These serial vocals in the background are just so beautiful. Let's not hear of justice. The game is really fun. I'll do what I must. It's also very chill though. It's hard now to stream turn-based RPGs, so I'm happy that you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> it's the type of game I really enjoy, but I try to Prepare stick to demos yourself. that are new because I know that it's like really... It's not necessarily what most people want to watch on stream because they're very slow paced. But I mean, it gives you more opportunities, Zatsu. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. It would be such a good goal, but yo! I know that you make, you make instrumentals and stuff. I'd have to double check, of course, if I can or not, but... If you ever need an extra person for a Sound Horizon type song, like hit me up. <laughs> also, night, Steven. Ooh. Ah, I'll probably go up this way. Yes. Ah, you know you've gotten to where it's dangerous when there's a save button. <laughs> Oh wait, I didn't actually save. <laughs> if I did, I just saved twice, it's fine. I have more money now, I should buy a shield. Fucking fur armor. <laughs> fine, I'll get your fucking fur armor. Fine, we're going full furry again, because for some reason, furries are stronger. I have some healing grapes. I don't have a shield. in this song is really nice. I want to learn this song. Octopath really does seem like the perfect game for me to learn music from on flute. <laughs> I'm really glad I got to finally give it a try. I'll see if I can maybe do an Octopath flute stream before I go away. Genki, thank you for subscribing. Or maybe I can... I should not bring my flute. I should not do a flute stream from a hotel. That sounds like a very bad idea and a very quick way to get kicked out. <laughs> Twilight Night Zero, hello. And then I go sniff out. That's the smell of my sweat. I mean, you do sweat a lot in first suits, so I can imagine that'll be pretty stinky. So you're probably wrong. You're probably not wrong. Mm hmm. Yeah, the furries are just OP. I should get the stronger stuff. Yeah, the neighbors would not be happy. Stand it could be even better fight. if I bring my piccolo. Then I would actually probably get arrested for being a nuisance. <laughs> I would have a great time, though. My neighbors would not. I kind of want to bring my flute, though. You know what would be really fun? Because I'm going to be near some nature for quite a bit of when I'm away. Um... I feel like it could be really nice to play flute, like, outside. I've never really played flute outside. I feel like, again, I might be a nuisance and I might I get in trouble, but it would be so nice. 
Find somewhere secluded in the woods and play. <gasps> Imagine taking yourself on a day trip in the woods and playing flute in the middle of trees. Oh, that'd be so nice. Is it weird that I find that would be such a relaxing way to spend a day? <laughs> Do you have woods near where you live? Yeah, lots of them. Mm -hmm. Warehouse, my, my particular dimension of it has lots of trees. That's why I also have lots of power outages. <laughs> I have been very lucky this year, though. There haven't been a lot. There's no one here. I suppose I'll wait a while longer. Mm -hmm. Went to a wide open park, found an area without many people, and did some singing. Oh, that would have been so nice. I don't think I've ever sang outside. I think. If no, I did once. So I was on a boat. True. I was on a boat must be in a harbor, and I just started singing. And it was really nice. I was on a ferry, and not really anyone else was on that area of the ferry. It was really secluded. So I started... This is so embarrassing. I started singing the entire OST from Mermaid Melody. <laughs> I had a great time. Don't judge me. Elsewhere. Castle Coo, throne room. You called upon me, Your Majesty. Time to find out if Daddy's a traitor. For centuries has the sword of our clan struck down our foes. <gasps> he is going to kill my father, actually, probably. And our nation has become great in turn. Glory through sacrifice. Wow, do you mean like Dango Dai? Because that would be cute. Mugen, I ask you. What do you want for our nation? Strength. I mean, that's not a bad ambition, but I think mine was a little more wholesome. Yeah, the voice acting for the most part in the game is really good. There have been some choices I didn't necessarily agree with, um, but overall, it's pretty good. For only the strong can herd the droves of the weak. Mm. Such is the way of the world. Strength reigns supreme, always. <sighs> Mugen, the, the disappointed son. father sighs. He's like, <sighs> I'm disappointed in you, my son. <laughs> I called you here to discuss succession of the throne. I'm surprised you're not my favorite son. <laughs> True I know. betrayal. You've come to a decision. You mean to abdicate to my brother? At least he knows. Gary, your crown. What? You are old, Your Majesty. Frail. He did have someone overhearing. I bet it was the bald guy. That's supposed to be his assistant. He probably is a traitor. But worry not. By my hand, yeah, you hear the evil the evil key sword. change switch to Strength. minor, and you know that something really bad's about to happen. I didn't show it, but I feel like maybe my it's dad been was too just killed. Long. Oh, that's my friend! In case you were wondering, you can call me Captain now. I thought... But... I thought... I thought... I thought my brother tried to fire my friend. He said there's no place for him anymore. What? What, 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 what? To think, I once looked up to you. Now fate seems to have brought you low. Huh? We 
Saints. What are you doing here? Octopath is just betrayal simulator. You were expecting someone else? Lord Mugen, perhaps? And this arms merchant? He said there's... I think that might be... I think you might have been right, Ops. I think I misunderstood. I thought he said there's no place for Ritsu, but I think he said there's no place for me. It was a trap. One you were all too eager to walk into. Oh, shit. The king is dead. And the era of Lord Mugen begins. I guess they didn't show it, but they did kill him. It's almost more powerful city. not showing it. What have you? Wait, is the city on fire? I thought that was just lightning. Is the city on fire? Ah, it started already. I thought the last one was the dark, the dark room. What the fuck Let is this? Pass, While you were fritting your time away with commoners, greater men were taking action. Our nation cries out for change, and Lord Mugen will bring it. I'm sad to say, you have no place in his coup. You'll die here, Ikari. Damn. What's gotten into you, Ritsu? Betrayal Ritsu? from the bestie. I have to follow the strongest. I told you history would remember my name. Lord Mugen has promised me it will echo through generations. What? I'm not. I'm not Amios. I'm not bringing dishonor to the clan, though. My brother is bringing dishonor to the clan by wanting to continue the murder. People like me. People like me. When I present him with your head. I'll be granted a place by his side. Or, or, or we could go back to being besties. <sighs> I guess so now, see, I guess now we get to, um, we get to fight my friend. I didn't know, I did kind of, you know what, actually, I probably should have seen that coming. <laughs> With how many betrayals we've been through today, I'm kind of surprised even though I'm surprised I must protect my people so I say I'm surprised that's him and not my dad <sighs> let me like pass. this nerd bullshit Ariel likes me at least one person in this whole world likes me <laughs> that's the spirit I think I have Time to take to a break before the battle starts I'm like snow. actually about to pee myself at this point guys <laughs> Every time I was about to take a bathroom break, I got a raid, so I didn't want to, like, My leave. Time. But I am going to actually fucking pee myself, so. <laughs> I'll be back! Hold on! Give me, like, five minutes to pee and get water, and then we'll do the boss fight. Hold on! Nuts! We're nutted! Let's go! We got some nuts already! Best game. I can't find any more... Items, so maybe that. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight for my life. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. And I'm gonna fight. 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 I'm gonna fight.
Ed. Word. Ed. Word. <laughs> Tree magnifique, preparing for this special event. Mm -hmm. The desserts are incredible. What is it? Incroyable. Incroyable, <laughs> as always, <laughs> particularly the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Truly something worth a touching moon. Words. Sobrique? I don't actually know that word. Sobrique? <laughs> I'm near fluent in French and I still don't know that. <laughs> Is it? Is it? It's sobriquet. Sobriquet. Maybe I. Maybe I've never seen that word before. I've never heard of this. I. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm using Google. Yes, if Google. I have any uh, French um, speakers in chat, I apologize. I speak French. <laughs> I. How could it poss? How could it possibly? Well, that's bad Wait, grammar. How could it? <laughs> Sorry, what the that's fuck terrible. is the sentence? How could it possible to make chocolate? <laughs> it's awful. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just, it's fully just... <laughs> How could it be possible to make chocolate taste better in what? The ice? <laughs> like, it's like that. It was written by an AI, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. So I'm it's, 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 I think it's just, wait. How could it be possible to make chocolate taste better in that way? Mm-hmm. All right, it looks like chat has chose A with Liz Robinette, and that is correct. Oh my god, chat, let's go. Let's go, You did chat. not let you be down. Thank you, chat. You did not let me die. I'm so... You I'm, let her I'm, live. I'm tearing up here, chat. Come on. <laughs> I guess I'm not really doing any damage right now, am I? What happened? Did the game freeze? Oh my god, I have... What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I've never had that happen before! I've never had that happen! Okay, let's just wipe. We can't beat this guy. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna end the instance. Can we set up a new one? I want to take a really quick bathroom break anyway. I kind of need to pee. <laughs> so, yeah, leg kills apparently. Holy shit. <laughs> At least I got to experience my first leg. Now I don't feel left out. Chloe stands up and looks towards the door. She claps her hands in excitement and waves at a broad, bumbling man staggering towards our table. <laughs> Time to see who he is. He's a weeb! Okay, I kind of approve. <laughs> I feel like we could be besties. He's a fucking weeb! <laughs> he just sums up, hey, babe, with an anime keychain on his pocket. That is a chat! That is a chat! <laughs> Never mind, I don't hate him anymore. I don't hate him anymore. That's a fucking chat! He even has free Wi Fi on his head. <laughs> to my friend and said, hey, babe, and they had a waifu keychain on their pocket. I'm sorry, but I'd be like, I can't compete. They do to you, Colgate Chuck. Hi, Vivian. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you guys think? What accessory should I use? What, what accessory should I use? What, what accessory do you guys think? Oh, I can have a flat. Oh, I a, oh my god, he's a butthole. He has a butthole! In medieval times, incest was perfectly normal. Therefore, in this game, incest is perfectly acceptable. Because back in this time and era, it was the norm. 
because all the royal families didn't want to lose their pure lineages and shit. That's why you have so much incest in genealogy. <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? A drop. Yeah. <gasps> I almost dropped my cookie down my bra. Mm. <laughs> Sorry about the long break. I ran into a bit of a problem. I, uh... I went to go to the bathroom. And there was a spider. <laughs> and it, was, it was not... It was not somewhere I could reach. Even with a stool or even a chair. So I, uh... I had to just eventually be brave and pretend it wasn't there. Also, I like to buy it was... It was a struggle just pretending that it was not there. <laughs> My entire brain is still like... <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> anyway, let's do the boss fight. Mm -hmm. It's really hot in here. My fan is not working. It's blowing hot air instead of cold and dizzy. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. Yeah! That's probably good if we take one of them down completely. With the bite. Here I come. Dead. Not dead. What the fuck? I'm not kill him. What the fuck? Now it begins. I'm gonna take a gamble and not heal this time. Prepare yourself. Please! Okay, one enemy less. I'll heal next time. Why are you so big? Because apparently that's normal in this game for boss fights, even though it's total bullshit and everyone knows it. <laughs> I need this. That's fine. We eat grapes and we heal. No big deal. They better be grapes the size of grapes someone that person would eat. That would make sense to heal so much of my HP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're doing the Final Fantasy thing where the enemy sprites are larger by order of importance. Oh, really? Is that it? It is a game by Square. So that makes sense. Kogeru! Thank you for the rain hello! We're gonna take a really quick break so that I can show one of your clips so. as a thank you. Hold on, hold on. Also, I'm gonna put my song list. I can only do TV sized if you want a song request, though, because my throat's really dry today <laughs> from streaming. Um, I wanna say so long. I usually do so long without issue. I think I just didn't get enough sleep. Um, let's see. I'll show you a good morning clip. Because it has your face in it, so people can know what you look like. Hold on. Hold on. Enter nuts. And there you go! This is going to Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me mute the game real quick. Ah, here we go. You look sleepy! <laughs> uh, good morning. That's me every morning. It's like, eh, good morning. Gotta go back to bed now. <laughs> Very, very relatable, groggy sounding good morning. Understandable. When I hear that, I'm or when I when I get up, I always sound the same. I'm like, can I go back to bed now? <laughs> relatable. I don't think you have clips. It's okay, I pull up a short. <laughs> Thank you so much for the rain. Also Darcy and Elijah, welcome! And there you have Kai, welcome! I'm gonna kill the shit. Out of the guy that's broken. Wait! How's this? Oh, it still didn't kill him. What a waste! Here I, I could have just done the other thing and not wasted the skill. Oh, well, now he's dead at least. <laughs> Look well, he got Man, you really need healing items for these bosses, huh? Yeah. 
Sword is strong. I, my place. <laughs> I really like the violin going wild on top of the other instruments. The high little screeches of urgency are very nice. Mm -hmm. I need this. You can sing Magia, yeah! After the battle, I can be TV sized if that's my okay. <laughs> I can't do a full right now because my throat's really dry. <laughs> You're dead. Damn. Prepare yourself. Two more is broken. I love breaking my brother in this game. To smack him with the sword, and he crawls and he calls for. Oh no! Oh no! I shouldn't have treated you like a softy because you're actually stronger than me. Win. Well. He'll regret. He'll regret the day he existed. I hate how big the boss is. It's so stupid. <laughs> I think I seem to be the only one that thinks it's so stupid. <laughs> Allow me. I'm dumb. Why am I like not even? Like, as I said earlier, why am I not even tall My enough turn. to bite his kneecaps? This is so stupid. <laughs> He thick though, that's not wrong. He thick. You see that knee? You see that knee? That knee is attached to a thigh, and knees are smaller Prepare than the thighs, yourself. so. I'm just saying. <laughs> exactly! From a design point, it just seems so You're weird. Dead. It's too to follow. Mm, the F5 letter is like zero. <laughs> I wouldn't know, because I'm neither of those types. Right now, anyway, I can become them if I want to. Look well, he can. He emits a murderous aura. Now it I never would have guessed. Here I come. I think I can survive it. Now I go my way. Ooh! Was a tad stronger than anticipated. <laughs> but it's fine. We have some grapes left. <laughs> I should have probably used defend. Like that would have been a great opportunity to use defend because I knew he was gonna do something strong. Instead, I just didn't. <laughs> I'm great at this game. I'm great, guys. Allow me. Okay. Oh my! Oh, I can't see my accuracy. Shit. So I wasn't wrong. The city is actually on fire. You can see the flames now. Don't let this. I don't understand that me. though. What you could he possibly gain serious. from lighting the town he wants to take over on fire? He's just wrecking it. Who does he want to be in charge of? No one. They're gonna die. But I'll show you how far I've come. If you want to save them, you'll have to cut through me first. Well, easy, because that's what Leave I'm doing. No choice. <sighs> I like the urgency of the violin here. That's really, that's like this climbing tension that doesn't let up and just keeps going in the background of the music. It's quite nice. Violins really make battle music so beautiful. A lot of my favorite songs and games are battle music specifically because I just absolutely love the violins in them. Mm. Look well, he comes. Yeah, and he's guessing what he is a genius. Is this the time I should defend? Not this time. Prepare yourself. Oh, this time? Oh shit. <gasps> this time? Not this time. Now I can Yeah! Let's go! I properly defended. <laughs> for once in my life. What is my latent power for him though? I don't remember. What does he actually do? Mm -hmm. My turn. Ah, I know what it is now. What is this? I can use these without using any stuff. Interesting. Oh, I like this one. Because that gets me closer to breaking two times. Mm. 
just want to cancel it by breaking him. True. If I have a point where I'm able to break him, that depends on how they knock, you know? I'm sorry. Mm, let's go! My turn. And now he's broken. I'll end this. So we use Hachimori Hachi Hachi Hachimon to get in! I like the, this one. How's this? Yeah! Oh, I killed I my brother. Let's go! <laughs> Yay! I'm the king now, baby! My dad's dead. I killed my brother. Therefore, the kingdom is mine. Even if it's on fire, this is fine. We just... We just need a really big fire truck. A really, really big fire truck. <laughs> Even though there's no trucks back then. Um... Um, we need to weaponize the river and somehow move all the water so it's not in the river, it's on the town. Mm-hmm. By the tempest. Why does it always end? Oh wait, we same? killed my we killed my friend. We didn't kill my brother. <laughs> that's probably the We're full that's probably the boss ahead. of the full plot line for him. Right now we just killed my friend. <laughs> oh. <sighs> so I guess we're not the king yet, but soon. And yeah, I'm really in love with the glow. The glowiness of the graphics is honestly what's been making me enjoy it more than anything. And that the text boxes look like parchment that paper. Is this. I it. really enjoy that. It's just a little touch that makes such it's a difference done. when the rest of it always looks like paper. It's almost like JRPG version. Well, I mean, I know they had an RPG as well, but it almost feels like a JRPG version of like Paper Mario, but not Mario. <laughs> like if Square made Paper Mario. <laughs> It really is backstab simulator at this point with the amount of times we've been like thoroughly betrayed. <laughs> My heart is hurting. You can't deny the blood flowing through your veins. Huh? By half blood? Am I half demon? Soak the ground red. I thought I was half foreigner. Silence. Go away. Go away. What? Who the hell are you talking to? That, that was slightly unsettling. Well, um, I hate to break it to you, but there's no castle. <laughs> the castle burned down, buddy. Yeah, this is... Oh, God, look at all the people on the ground. No, you did not have to hurt my heart like this. My lord, you're safe. You did not have to do this to me. Set fire to the castle. I'm afraid the city is not Suki. Lord Hikari, save I our wanted kingdom. to hear. Well, I guess she's doing better acting now, so I guess I hear what I wanted, but no. Only your gentle hands can guide us back. It is still the demo, Wade. The weed is or the weed. <laughs> The demo is quite long. You get like around one hour of each character's route ish. If you play it fast, I'm very slow. <laughs> so you can actually play the demo for like eight hours. 
But you have three hours for save files. You have to restart a new save file if you want to try another one. Yeah, this is a demo! This is a fucking demo! It's a huge demo. It really is. The demo has more playtime than some full price games, for sure. That's an incredible demo. I'm really glad I decided to play this one today. That broke my heart. You know how so many people online said this in anime and video games? They'll go over the top with it, they'll be like, and like keep going. But that was such a short, like, like it was just, it was so heartbreaking. It wasn't a scream or a growl. It was just like the noise of someone who's like lost everything essentially. It's just a heartbroken cry. And it was done so well. And yeah, it looks like the PC demo comes out tomorrow. Um, thank you, Kogan. If anyone wants to play and doesn't have a Switch. The song reminds me of what? Six Station from Spirited Alice. Away. My friends. Damn. I'll, I'll do the song at the end if that's okay, Kogan. I don't really want to interrupt the cutscene because this is so intense. I will avenge them. Mm. There will be no mercy for you, Lucan. Hikari's voice actor is really damn good. It's making me so sad. Oh wait, this isn't... This isn't even the end of his chapter! Oh my god! They really want me to suffer and explore the city, huh? Empowering Lychee! <laughs> That's so stupid! I guess I can't go up there anymore, huh? song sounds like some Joe Hisaishi bullshit. It's gonna make me sob. Seeing the corpses is just so awful. I'm actually tearing out from the music, guys. I can't even pretend I'm not. <gasps> oh, wait, no, I thought I could get the other treasure chest. I guess not. I haven't lit Wait, no! to hurt me like that, but you did. Ring the bell out of anger, still can't ring the bell. All the guards are dead. This is, this is really hurting me. <laughs> this is really hurting me, guys. I, I am suffering right now. I didn't expect the demo to make me have crying hours. Frail, as is the nation you lead. Yeah, this is really heavy for a demo. But worry not. By my hand shall its glory be restored. That's its true, strength. no not so if this is just the demo. Imagine the emotion that comes from the whole story. Was the first Octopath this like suffering was was it full of this much suffering? Because holy shit. Hmm. There was a lot of I suffering. I feel like I should have played this game. I would have liked Why, it. <laughs> what could such a soft heart achieve? At least not burning down the whole town, for one thing. Ikari has all the makings of a great king. Thank you, Dad. 
And what would those be? Yeah, this is more than backstub simulator. This is a suffering simulator. A brute such as you would never understand. Mm. And you do. The king who threw down his sword and cowered in the trappings of peace. Yeah, not burning down his own capital for start, exactly. Everything you built was only an illusion. I shall build a castle that will stand eternal, and your corpse shall be its cornerstone. <laughs> Damn, he had people planted. That's unfair. He cornered him. He can't even do a fair one on. He can't even do a fair one on one. This is bullshit. What kind of king is such a coward that when taking the throne, they'll send other people? That is such bullshit. Say though, the design in this building is so beautiful, it's almost distracting. <laughs> it's so pretty. Hmm. Does it generally just delegates? I think in this case, it's still fucking pathetic. Fortify a nut. <laughs> I was like, crazy. Thank you for subscribing. He. I guess mad at me for being peace loving, and he won't even do the dirty work himself. What a fucking ass. Don't tell me I'm gonna walk in the second I see my dad getting killed. No! Oh! Why? Why do we have to make it as painful as possible? I broke in rage. I hate this game. <laughs> Cuddy. Will you? Lead our nation. Oh, why is my dad dying in my arms? I hate this! I will be king. Fuck! This is worse than the I'll thief's room! free of this bloodshed. This is Who pain incarnate! Is you guys just sent me on the, on the most suspicious, on the suspicious, alone. sadistic route, and then you sent me on the suffering route, really. Run, gather your strength, your allies, only then can you restore the light to our nation. If it ends here, I'll be mad. I have a bad feeling it will. <laughs> Which honestly it would make no sense because you think my brother would just kill me right now. He's like, oh, you're a threat. Let me just end that problem right now. <laughs> his final words prove his weakness. That he would hoist his unfulfilled ambitions on the shoulders of another. Because he's fucking Only dying when he wanted to come back from the dead and do it himself. <laughs> And I shall see the fires of war engulf the world. And what are you gonna gain from that? Is the whole world on fire? Wow! Then there'll be nothing left! That was the same world that father lived in his whole life. A world he regretted making. Yeah. But he came to believe in my vision. A vision for a world not forged by war, but shaped by fellowship. Enjoy your grip on Ku while you can, Mugen. I really do like Ikari's voice acting. It's very stylized and cheesy, so it's not like the most realistic necessarily in this part, but it works. It works. I'll take the throne back and build a country father would have been proud of. I like how it has like very strong conviction in his lines. He's not necessarily crying, he's not angry, but he's showing his conviction. I like that delivery. 
Because these exact lines could have come across very different if he'd chosen to be sad or angry, but he's really showing his conviction while also slightly struggling to hold it together. It's a nice touch. I guess he won't kill me because he doesn't even see me a threat. It's kind of an I'd like to see you try situation. So he's like, you're not worth it. Why did you set fire to the homes of innocence? Cause Somehow nasty. you've won them. They might have opposed my will after you were untimely demise. I'm Best really liking the song that's playing right now, too. Before they grow. It's kind of following what I said about his conviction. The song isn't necessarily sad. The song is more showing, like, determination for the future. That's the vibe that's giving off. Hmm. You monster! Now don't be a fool. You know your meager skills are no match for me. I told you not to tarnish our family name. Don't die so shamefully, brother. Hi, not Tiger. Good morning. Again. I feel like this is a very good late night game. I don't know about you guys, I've been enjoying quite a lot playing it so late, even if I don't have a lot of brain cells today. <laughs> I like playing JRPGs at like really weird hours of the night because there's something so chill and relaxing about it. <laughs> I know that a lot of people end up preferring to lurk or going to bed even at this time, so I feel kind of bad when I stream JRPGs this late. <laughs> but it's very relaxing and I enjoy it. I actually just really like streaming at this time. But especially story-related stuff. Because I like enjoying stories late at night. Mm. For the true king! Nothing going on at these hours? Yeah! That's part of why I enjoy okay. streaming at this time. There's not a lot going on, so you know, if I can do something fun, entertain some people who can't find anything to watch, that makes me happy. The flip side is when I end stream, it can be really hard to find anyone to raid. <laughs> I'm glad that at least the bald guy is not a betraying asshole. We have one true friend. We have no true friends in the thief fruit, but at least we have one true friend in this one. Hmm. Yeah, Baldy wasn't a traitor. I love him. Your Majesty, leave these curse to me. You hold the future of Ku in your hands. Your father chose to put his faith in you, and so shall I. Ah, that's so cute. Even though this whole situation is not very cute, but. Don't worry. It'll take more than this gang of ruffians to take Benkei down. I don't think he will sacrifice himself. I think he'll. Wait, is he? I think he'll get out. I think he'll get out. I think we'll find him later on in the game. I don't think he's gonna die here. He's really strong. I think he'll get out. We don't know for sure, but I think he'll get out. That didn't seem like a sacrifice to me so much as he's gonna get hurt and show up later with like missing an arm or something. <laughs> Kadi rode through the night. Castle crew grew faint on the horizon, but Hikari did not look back. With his eyes set firmly on the future, he rode. Yeah, everyone's dead. There's no kingdom to even lead. What's the point in leading a kingdom with no people? Like, what do you even want at that point? You know, you can't even say you want power, because the people are just gone. I don't understand what he gains from any of this. Three days later in a nearby town. Camels! Did 
did you hear about what happened in Ku? I loved. <gasps> Have any of you guys actually seen a camel in real life? I've seen a camel. I've seen a camel. They're so huge. Holy fuck, are they huge? Oh, so cool. Is it as I don't bad eat as your hair. Ah, I'm jealous. I wish one would eat my hair. I could just be like ah and pet its head while it ate my hair. <laughs> it was spit on you. <laughs> I'm sorry that was your camel experience, Koken. I'm sorry. <laughs> so big hair, it's kind of like a yeah. That's a good comparison. It's basically a sand moose. Like you think they're big, but then you see one and you're like, yo! Let me try to get a photo real quick of a camel. Mm, camel size. So you guys can see, like an actual person standing next to a camel. Cause I don't think you understand how big these guys are. They are big. They are big. Big, big camel. Big. Hold on. This one should work. So, when it comes to camels. You think that they're kind of big, but this is how big they actually are. It's literally the moose scenario all over again. Like, <laughs> that's huge. They're huge. This is even smaller than the one I saw. The one I saw, unless I'm just really small, I don't know. But the one I saw was towering above me, and I was like, a mm. slight fear. <laughs> Seems the young prince wasn't satisfied with his lot and tried to take the throne by force. The young the king is dead. The elder brother has assumed the throne. Mugen. Mugen told everyone that I burned down the town? What the fuck? Dreadful. We've had peace for so long. Yeah, that is some misinformation if I've <sighs> ever heard some. No one's gonna trust me now. At least this is before the days of the internet, so no one can Google Prince Face. <laughs> they don't know who I am, at least. So I can kind of go My undercover, but damn. Your uncle raises camels, that's so cool. Gather your strength, your allies. <laughs> First, mm -hmm. I must cross the sea. Well, yeah, my fan's on max. I don't know why it's so hot in here. Colgate, I think I may not skip the song request if that's okay with you. I'm really, really warm. I think I need to end stream and go cool down. Something's not working right with the temperature in here. It's really hot. I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I appreciate the read, though. I really do. Up right now, wow. I hope your mind is still keen to play, Kazan. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take a whole army. Yeah, it's one dude. <laughs> nice. I will return soon. I promise. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? I thought it was okay, but I'm starting to reach the point where I'm actually not sure. <laughs> I think I need to go have some like electrolyte drinks and shit. I'm really hot. And I won't be alone. You ever get like hot to the point you have a headache? Because that's the point I just reached, and I'm like, shit, that's bad. <laughs> Luckily, we're ending in a minute anyway. <laughs> Prince Ikari of Ku is branded a traitor and driven from his home. Even Ritsu, once his closest friend, betrays him. In the end, he loses everything at the hands of Mugen, his own brother. With only the embrace of desolate sands to comfort him, Hikari sets his gaze forward. In silence, he rise, rides east. I have some sports drinks, actually, that I use when I work out, so I'm gonna drink one of those and see if it helps. I like 
the music at the very end. Mmm. That was really cool. Um, so yeah, that was the demo for this route. What did you guys think of the game so far? I thought it was pretty fun. Mmm. I, I'm actually surprised how investing I how invested I am in the story. I didn't expect to get quite so invested. Yeah, the prologues were great! I mean, I know that I know that in theory Octopath was a really good JRPG, but I'm very picky with JRPG stories because you know if the game is gonna be so long it better have like a banger of a story. <laughs> and I wasn't sure if I'd like Octopath because I'm so picky with JRPGs. I love the beginnings, playing like late game is very rare for me to finish any. But yeah. I was surprised that it was so dark too, Josh! Hmm. Have I heard of this game? Don't normally like a JRPG, but this looks pretty cool, right? That looks really cool. Hmm. -hmm. Well yeah, I'm definitely glad I got to check out the demo today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does look like it improved a lot. I haven't played the first one, but from just like what I've seen as an outsider, it seems that it's been really wild. Mm hmm. I'm excited. Hopefully the full one will be good. If you're excited and want to pre-order a physical copy, I would appreciate it if you use the link in my description. It'll come with my free Valentine's card. <laughs> and you can also pre-order the OST. Um, I actually have it up. There's a whole page of Octopath 2 merch. Hold on, I do want to show that up really quickly. If you enjoyed the game, um, we have tons of merch from it for Sailor. Or for Sailor. <laughs> Ugh, my brain, probably. It was probably too warm in here the whole time, honestly, and I didn't realize. That's probably why I feel kind of weird and why my brain has been fried. That's probably just really hot. I gotta figure out why. Um, I wanna show the merch that we have real quick. And then I'm gonna raid people and go, cool up! <laughs> uh, hold on. Cause I didn't, I was surprised. I didn't know they even really made a lot of Octopath merch. So I was quite surprised when I searched for the game and found like all this shit. So there's the collector edition for PS5. It's multi-language. So even if you buy the Japanese copy, it'll still have English in case you have a preference for collecting. Um, the limited edition comes with a lot of stuff. It comes with some standees. Looks like it comes with the OST. I'm not 100% sure, but you can buy some of it separate too, I think. Like you can buy the OST for $46.99. Um, you can get an acrylic stand set, which comes with uh, people from the West Continent. You can also get one of the East Continent. Um, the acrylic stand sets are $21.99. We've also got the map, and it's a face towel. <laughs> uh, there's also a glasses case and cleaner. Um, there's a bag, there's a t-shirt. I didn't realize there's so much merch from the game. Hmm. -hmm. So if you're interested in the franchise and you're interested in getting any merch from it, with the link in the description, it'll bring you right to this page where we have tons of it. Yeah, there's a lot of merch for two already. I was really surprised. Mm -hmm. With that being said, I'm gonna find some people to raid. I gotta, I gotta fucking cool down. <laughs> Let's see who we can raid today. Hmm. Let's see who's still online. I don't think a lot of people. Oh yeah, let me put my links in chat real quick in case you're new. Here's my Twitter. My Discord, YouTube, music. Oh wait, this is YouTube. Twitch, <laughs> music, play Asia. I also playlist. Oh my god. And on Twitch, let me drop my links. Twitter. Oh. Why are you not working? I press enter and it doesn't do anything. Hold on. Okay, Twitter, Discord, YouTube, music, play Asia. Okay, and hold on. Let me find someone to read real quick. Who can we go and share the love with tonight? Hmm. I don't think anyone's gonna be doing anything similar right now, but um... Let's see what this stream is, hold on. I'm sending through ads on Twitch to make sure this person's still streaming. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we're going to read Mogu on Twitch. Mogu is very sweet and I love her lots. 
she is a ghost VTuber. I'll get up her image and I'll explain, um, I'll explain who she is a little bit, um, as I have my ending screen on, because I gotta go, I gotta go pass the fuck out, but... <laughs> oh, thank you guys for the stream! Let me make sure the end is ready. Okay, um... Alright. Here's the Mogu! And then we're going to find someone on YouTube, so stay tuned if you're on YouTube as well. And don't forget! All physical orders come with my kid's Valentine's Day card! So go have a look if you haven't yet. See ya! Okay, this is Mogu! She's a cute gold speech to work, and her rules? Please don't be rude and annoying. Please, no spoilers, thanks. Very basic, so make sure you follow them, okay? <laughs> I'll send you guys over. Have fun! Read Mogu! Wait, this is playing my old slideshow again. I gotta fix that. Alright, let me find someone on YouTube while I chat with Mogu a little bit. She goes live. I don't know if you can hear Mogu screaming in my headphones. <laughs> oh, good. Hold on, I'm just gonna set up a raid to her waiting room. It's live in 13 hours, so you have just enough time to go to bed. <laughs> All right, here you go. I'll send you guys to the waiting room. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> 